Hey everybody, this is T.S. Madison, and if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. Quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one-on-one -on -one exclusive content behind the scenes. You can even chat with me in there. Me and you. It's just me and you. So get to www.patreon.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton, and you'll be glad you did. I promise. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything. Every there it is right there. You ain't right gonna there. have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye. Hey. It's morning, and we slept the night away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> the best part of waking up is a little Maddie in your cup. Good morning, everybody. I'm finna be real controversial this morning. Mr. Cole leaving me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This is the Maddie in the Morning Show. And the views and opinion expressed on this program are mine. But T.S. makes some motherfucking noise, too. This show is a comedic safe space to talk about the things from the night before. Tell me R. Kelly down there to the people telling the people that he gonna tell on everybody. They need to put R. Kelly out there in the Squid Games. Run, nigga. You have been a detriment to your community. You know, gay folks work for me, man. That is disgusting. Light gossip, but heavy thinking throughout the day. The crates. You colored people is dumb. E.T. for norm. I don't care whatever happens to Candace, but bless her heart. The premise of this show is to be an unfiltered, unadulterated, opinionated show from the perspective of Miss T.S. Madison. We don't all got to get the fuck along, because I don't get along with you with a lot of you black motherfuckers. Because you black motherfuckers don't get along with my black ass, bitch. So respect my gangster right now. The show is filled with regular folks, celebrity guests, and your round away girls, honey. Stop pushing your children away because of their gender or their sexual preferences. I what? just want to know where you found this wig at. Don't you do this to me. We're both sitting up here looking like women with shortcuts, so don't you ever <laughs> cut this whole off. We also have Mo, the engineer, who gives the straight perspective. Deuce time. What the H-E-L-L? This is an LBGTQ show that's curated and created by us for you. I do understand as black people that we have a, a high rate of things that we need to worry about. We're not going to disrespect I'll, I'll her, but we're going to read her. I don't want no the government telling me what I can't do to my own body. Right. We are all God's creation, but we are not all his children. See, the problem is you hoes have issues and problems with us coming from the shadows. As long as we're in the shadows, y'all are right. We are millionaires, bitch. We are artists. We are contributors to the situation. It's morning, and we slept the night away. <laughs> Shout out at the song I want to say. It's Maddie in the morning, 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 Maddie in the morning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Wait, honey, it's nine o'clock somewhere. Get in here and watch the damn show. Are you aware that every expenditure you make from 31st May till date are not are not
It's morning. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can we, we still a night away? Ooh. Y'all need to know that it happened. <laughs> And now, and now we, we can't, can't turn, turn back, back these hands, hands of time. Oh, no, we can't. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, they've stolen <laughs> these moments. It was definitely moment stolen. <laughs> definitely moment stolen. Is it on, honey? Is it oh. on? Is this thing recording? What's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grinder, Scruff, BGC, Jack, Facebook, Periscope. And last but not least, every single one of my Question! Mingo in the lands, all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison. I'm coming to you loud, live, and always and forever in color from the Maddie and the whatever time up. Day we want to come on this. Yes. Okay. Yes. In the morning show. Yes, Lord. Now, I, I, it, was, it was brought to my attention <clears throat> that the Nigerian council... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got a new life. Well, I'd like to watch that again. May I watch that again first, please? Maybe you really want you really want to watch. You it can again? translate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got you. No problem. I got you. Are you aware that every expenditure you make from thirty first May till date are not? Uh, are not <laughs> you know, for me, it's uh -huh. the man in the gray suit. <laughs> Oh, they had his hands inside this man's mouth? Yes, with all that ass up there on the table like that. <laughs> well, y'all Nigerians got some asses, though, y'all. Really, Maddie? Bro. Where y'all get all that ass from? I, I don't know. What Is it the fuck of the child that y'all have on the uh, on the farm? I don't know what you're talking about. Baby, it's a lot of, baby that was a lot. Of, that man has a lot of ass up there. <laughs> First of all, all, the shenanigans of that man falling all out over the table like that. <laughs> Falling all out on the table like that. This is like he didn't want to get in trouble for for, for uh, embezzling money. <laughs> yeah, <Hush> puppy, <laughs> Hush puppy. Really? Oh my goodness! No, and the reason why it's so funny is because Nigerians will do anything they can to get out of trouble. Oh yeah. Hush puppy. <laughs> really? Is that the only is that the only person you know? That's right. Hush that you <laughs> Hush puppy. <laughs> oh my God. How hush puppy do him? Oh, you didn't talk to him lately? I've never talked to Hush you ain't Puppy. Never talked we don't to all him? know each other, Madison. We don't all know each other. Okay. You don't know Hush Puppy? Man? I don't know Hush Puppy. Okay. I've never met him a day in my life. But you you seen the things that he's done though, right? I've seen the things he's done. So you know he's the number one stunner, right? <laughs> Besides this man that just pulled this stunt down there to the to the synagogue <laughs> at the Senate building. Done the bills with all them people <laughs> they, they, they done their bills with all of Nelson Mandela's funds. <laughs> he said <"Hush>, puppy. <laughs> he said, he said, Y'all ain't going y'all ain't putting this shit on me. That man really, but you know what? That's something. That's something that would happen. That's something that would happen. I, yes, I, puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, everybody knows somebody named Hush Puppy. <laughs> I'm guarantee you that that nigga's nickname falling all out of that chair like that. Uh -huh. Hush Puppy. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody that scam is a Hush Puppy. That's it. From now on out. Really? Every every Nigerian is scammer. <laughs> I'm calling them hush puppy. What's this? What is this boy? Oh, no, I'm no. calling them all hush puppy. Everybody hush puppy. Oh my goodness. So when we get anytime Nigerian crime bosses and stuff, <laughs> <laughs> Nigerian crime bosses fall on the uh, conversation list. 
we just gonna start out hush, hush puppy. I got the heat gun screaming out. <laughs> Aquarius, you don't know who Hush Puppy is. He's like a he's like a big and embe- like scammer, basically. Uh, listen, you you don't you don't know who Hush Puppy is. That man was a Mo. Can you Google Hush Puppy? <sighs> yes, I hold can. on. Let me see. You about to ask uh, Alexa. Alexa? I'm finna see if she know. <gasps> Alexa, Alexa. Oh, she done cut off. <laughs> oh, there she go. Hold on. <gasps> Alexa, <laughs> who is Hush Puppy? Oh, she... <gasps> oh, I done got Ooh, the hiccups. She... You need some. You need some water. Yeah. But I got it right here in the club. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna come back to hush up in a minute. Okay, okay. When when Alexa boot up, oh. you know y'all gotta. You say, hey, hey, t- hey, Tammy, hey, big pussy, big long cock, Tammy, bitch. She was over there sleep, honey, getting dug up all weekend, honey. <laughs> it's the it's the middle of the week, honey. <laughs> oh. You say you he was a scammer, you know who he is? Hush puppy. <laughs> hey Alexa. 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 She don't want to answer. Alexa, bitch. A- Alexa don't want to answer. Alexa, you done die, girl. <laughs> girl, I asked she about a cock yesterday. She done ain't came back since. <laughs> girl, Alexa, you done died, ho. Let me unplug up and plug up that couple G. We'll come back to that bowl. Okay. Make sure this whole live is she sick? <laughs> <laughs> is that bitch sick? I think she's sick. That whole out on <laughs> she out on sick leave right now. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my goodness! So, so wait, wait, hold on. Someone said they were scammed out. Of, wait, I just heard somebody say they were scammed out of. I oh, I scammed earlier today for seventy five k. Puppy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my Al- goodness. Alexa, who is Hush Puppy? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, Corona Boss, commonly known as Hush Puppy, is a Nigerian man who is facing criminal charges in the United States for conspiracy to launder <laughs> money obtained from business email compromise frauds and other scams. Alexa, who is T.S. Madison? <laughs> T.S. Madison Hinton, also known as Maddie, is an American reality television personality, actress, and LGBT activist. With the reality show The T.S. Madison Experience, she became the first black trans woman to star in and executive produce her own reality series. You see, y'all both famous. Both. <laughs> <laughs> Hush. Say that again? No, I don't need your help anymore. You, you've answered everything I needed. Thank you. I'm sorry. I don't know that. Good. So, you know, would you rather your son be a transsexual or a hush puppy? <laughs> <laughs> That's the question of the day. Would you rather your son be a transsexual <laughs> or a motherfucking hush puppy? Because <laughs> they both can be asked about. But what the heck, though? <laughs> So, uh, Mr. Mr. Rex said both. Oh, you want to be a transition and a hush puppy? All right, then. Because <laughs> at one point in life, I was a hush puppy, too. <laughs> you see? You see? So that proves that hush puppies can also be American or any other nationality there. They don't have to just be Nigerian. Oh, I'm Nigerian, too. <laughs> <laughs> But so I had a said, friend, grandmother. Right, this is King City said, a uh, trans puppy. It's right. <laughs> <laughs> trans puppy. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's between that's a that's a crossbreed of dog. What is she talking about? <laughs> that's a dog crossbreed. What is she talking about? Y'all messy. I ain't doing this stuff. I'm already lit today. <laughs> oh, you want some more of this juice? Yeah, I'll take some. Come on, put your cup over here. Put okay. your glass over here. Put them on the glass. 
Put them on the glasses. Oh my goodness, we've been drinking wine lately, and it's been real nice. <laughs> Been real nice, y'all. Mo went over there. He ain't scared. He went over there and got me the bottles like he promised. He did. He was down there saying, "Baby, I promise." <laughs> you know, hush, puppy. Um. So let's talk about Diplo, DJ Diplo. Okay, let's go right into it. Let's talk about Diplo because we ain't talk about Diplo yesterday because you know it's just the name for me, Diplo. <laughs> hush, puppy. Okay, you 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 want us to go now? Oh, I want us to talk about Diplo because okay. you know what I'm saying. He just backs up the stuff I be talking about all the time. <laughs> all right, here we go. You know, here we go. Come on. Sure, I got a blowjob from a guy before. You sh you're sure that's happened? Yeah. And you you just don't remember? I mean, you're not being you're saying you're you're not committing to it, but you're yeah. saying you're sure it happened. For sure. But you don't have a specific memory of it. Like I don't know if it's gay. Unless you like make eye contact while there's a blowjob. That's happening. such a straight guy thing to say. But it's, I mean, getting a blowjob is not that gay, I think. I don't know. It's a, you tell me. <laughs> Wait, what were we about to talk, talk about? Okay. We were talking about Bill Clinton. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a serious podcast, okay? Well, make it be so they can see me. Okay. I can see me because I'm a little already feeling it this morning. All right. So does the blowjobs make you homosexual? <laughs> no, he is not. Do blowjobs make you homosexual? Is blowjobs from other men make you homosexual? Because that's what he was talking about. So who doing the bend? Oh, so he doing the bend? <laughs> I mean, come on, people. Are, okay. Uh, Elder said, nah. Miss G said, yes. Uh, Y'all get out of here with that. People are saying no. Y'all get out of here with that. You get what I'm saying? Y'all get out of here with that. Y'all get out of here with that. Making sexual encounters what you totally are. Uh, do, do I think that man get up and get his dick sucked by men every day? Do I think that, uh, that he get up every day looking for men to suck his dick? No. Do I think many men get up every day and get look, look for men to suck their dick? No. But do I think men have men got their dick sucked by men before? Yeah. I don't want to get into breaking this stuff down for y'all and all of this philosophical way and all this type of shit. I don't want to get into all that. I don't because I tell y'all this shit all the motherfucking time. I tell y'all this all the time. Y'all sit up here and let ladies go out there and bump pocketbooks, rub, <laughs> rub quarters together. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all let ladies do this and y'all let them ladies come home and be women and bear kids and y'all gotta stop this. <laughs> you said bump pocketbook? Y'all gotta stop doing this. I never heard of that one. Y'all have to stop doing this. You got to stop it. I love men. But if one of you hoes got the right amount, you can suck the skin off of this motherfucking dick. <laughs> and I'm going to wipe it off and go put that bitch in the man. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. It ain't going to change my direction. <laughs> and who is y'all to tell somebody what they what they did what they sexual identity is. Someone said medium gay. I don't give a what fuck. What is medium I, gay? I, I, who is y'all to tell somebody what they sexual identity is? Who? <sighs> who is y'all? I could roll over right now. One of y'all could go have some of the best pussy eye. Like Trina say, killing you old, but I got the best pussy eye. <laughs> One of y'all could have the best pussy eye over here and ride me. And I'm going to be thinking about a man while you ride me. <laughs> you might become a mama then. Who? I said you might become a mama then. No, I ain't going to let it. No, I, no, 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 no. 
And a woman would never trap me. I'm not no man. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> woman ain't gonna never trap me. <laughs> Bitch, I ain't paying for nobody's children, not even mine. <laughs> I ain't coming in nothing but that damn toy. <laughs> how, did, how you doing? I ain't coming in nothing but that fucking toy. But that machine. You crazy. Or oh, but. <laughs> All right, Maddie. Nine months later, you you see a woman at your door you like it, it, we got a son together. She's the fucking lie. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I ain't even touch you. <laughs> bitch, I ain't even touch you, bitch. She's the motherfucking lie. If your throat pregnant, maybe. But you's the lie. Cause I knew not to stick my dick in you and put no damn shit when I know some ran wrap right around that bitch. You was a goddamn lie. <laughs> The fuck? They're gonna be like, Maddie, he looked just like you. He might do, but she's a lie. That bitch was looking at me hard. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> but at the end of the damn day, that would make me nothing. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Y'all got to stop doing that shit. Y'all, y'all got to, y'all got to stop with the double standard, the double-sided tape, bitch. You got to stop it. Bro, that man get up every day. That man, I really do believe that 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 man, he is he 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 identifies as a heterosexual man. Okay, oh well, he done got his dick sucked. Maybe once, maybe twice. The fuck? Sex don't, bitch. If that's the case, when y'all be out there fucking them niggas for free, do that make y'all them niggas girlfriends and husbands and wives? <laughs> No, it makes it makes your pussy fuck. He don't even that man may run into you at the stuff like, do I know you from somewhere? It ain't that serious. It's not that serious. Oh Lord. They you suck dip love? <laughs> okay. It's not that serious. It's not. Yeah, people, people, people are saying they believe it. Don't that. make it don't, Mo. I'm sorry. I can have a drunken night when we go out there to that damn when we go over there to Ipsible <laughs> and be like, oh shit, something was wet. <laughs> and the bitch be over there looking at me like, girl, I got you, girl. Like, oh no. <laughs> me and that bitch gonna go find a man together to take care of our baby. <laughs> to take care of our baby. <laughs> <laughs> really, Maddie? Yeah, yeah. Y'all both gonna go find a man to get. Take care of our baby. <laughs> Cause she gonna put that on that nigga. I ain't had nothing to do with that. Well, that nigga said, "Well, why that bitch? Why that baby look like that fucking he she?" <laughs> you don't remember that drunk night, baby? Man, I don't give a fuck about that shit. It could have been a sober night. That was that day. It's just, it just does not make me. Oh. It does not make me. It does not make him. It does not make experiences does not make the people. They just don't. Right. Until that person or those people say that this is their identity, it does not make them that. <laughs> it don't. Now, them cases where they keep getting, where they hide, he open about it. Like, I got my dick, sir. It's the one that be high. That keep getting caught, that you know, them, them that keep getting caught, them the ones. <laughs> If you keep getting caught, then them, them the ones. Cause that motherfucking Bobby Valentino done been caught all over Atlanta, <laughs> up and down Atlanta, up and down, up and down. He need to just say he flew it, or he paying a buy, or what? Or he don't even got to say nothing. He need to just say yeah. The problem is, is you keep running from the shit. That's the big problem. You keep running, bitches keep catching you. You keep. You keep paparazzi running from the shit. <laughs> Motherfucker, catch me. I'm be walking right around and did. <laughs> and did. And did. That's the thing. We need, we need more niggas to come forth and say, and 
Because the more niggas that come forth and say, and because at the middle, at the beginning, middle, and end of the damn day, right? Mm-hmm. It ain't going to stop Diplo from getting no pussy. Because that later, do you understand how, in, I know some of y'all bitches is closed-minded, and it's all right. But do you know how many women's will fuck a nigga because they fucking with a damn, especially one of us, one of us that look like this? Do you know how many women's will try to ride that, will try to ride that? Well, this is why I don't let, I ain't never let nobody know who I'm really dating or who I'm fucking with because a bitch will fuck that, a woman will fuck him. He ain't got no nigga fucking with me. Got to we have no we have no pussy problem, ever. Cause the motherfucker be sitting over there in the confused state of why you want to be why? Cause the, cause the niggas that like me and the niggas I ain't ain't don't even give off like yeah, girl, yes. That's what cause that's what y'all be expecting. It be real niggas be fucking with with a bitch and them hoes be over there like oh I'm gonna fuck that nigga cause ain't no way he don't need to be doing that anyway. And a lot of y'all could talk out y'all necks all day. I used to tell niggas all the time when I was fooling with them, like, man, I don't even know what the fuck you sitting over here acting like that's some kind. You going to get more pussy now than you ever got. Because bitches used to tell me, bitch, when I was had a brush cut and three lines in my motherfucking eyebrows, how they will fuck the gay off of me. Women. Women. Would tell me how they'll fuck the gay off of me. Are you crazy? I could get some pussy right now. If I wanted some pussy, it ain't got no, it, it's just it's just as tangible to me as dick is right now. <clears throat> And a motherfucker can sit up there and say all day, oh, I ain't, oh, I use a lie. Because I done lived this. It used to be boys from the hood I done been messing around with. They done, they done, they, they done, they, a motherfucker done said, you know he fuck punks. Get more pussy than any nigga that they know. Why? Because the girl's trying to, uh, oh, he too cute for that. He don't do that. Is you crazy? And this ain't me just talking because I'm just because I got a tongue and my mouth running, bitch. This is some real shit. And I used to, I used to live in the hood and I used to fuck with this motherfucking boy. And this bitches used to be walking up and down the street right r- r- front of my motherfucking house like I was stupid. And I used to be like, you just this, you, you fucking this girl right here. You fucking this girl right here. And they knew that we and this boy was in, living in the same house fucking. Knew it. We ain't had it. We ain't had it. And I was like, you fucking this, you, you fuck this girl, fuck this girl walking around here because she y'all fucking her over here. It's okay, cause them, <laughs> cause them two niggas that keep walking over here buying that dope, I'm fucking them too. <laughs> it's yeah, all right, boy. bitch. An eye for an eye hole. Oh, Lord. Julie, Julie, bitch, call Julie. Okay, you fucking that girl that's walking over here. You see them two niggas that keep walking over here buying that dope from that from the house next door. I know them too. I'm, I'm fucking them. We fucking. Every time you sneak out, every time you tiptoe, you got to go handle some business, they come handle mine because I know where you're going. They say two wrongs don't make a right. I don't give a fuck what they say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck what they say. You play on me, we got, I get, I, girl, girl, I got you, girl. <laughs> I got you, girl. <sighs> and now your feelings hurt. Now your feelings hurt because 
uh, you thought I, you think I didn't see this going on? I'm looking at this bitch keep twirling around up and down the sidewalk. I'm like, hmm. Then one day I called him at the store. You called him at the store? Oh, uh, it was at the store having a having a boyfriend girlfriend day out. They were having a date mm. at the store. I don't want to say the places and things. I'm just saying at the store. I called him. <laughs> <clears throat> or I just said to let her know well girl you know what I'm saying I know bitch he told me he could have told you nothing cause you know y'all bitch you know we was fucking girl and he sucks my dick so if you don't like if you if you if you like dick breath it's okay we 69. I 69. Oh, bitch. <sighs> My whole thing is I get tired of people sitting over there with the bullshit. That does not make you. That does not make. And, just, and him fucking that girl, that didn't make him. That didn't. Because I personally felt like that he was pansexual or, or fluid or whatever the word it is that I, I knew that going in the door you have to know these things going in the door right when you deal it when you dealing in that type of situation they ain't never gonna tell themselves that because they're gonna always identify as straight but them hoes will tell you they will fuck the gay out of you and me and they like pussy and everything in between they gonna fuck that don't mean they going that just like it don't mean that that he was gonna leave me. That don't mean that a, a man gonna a man gonna leave a broad. Like a man fuck broads all the time. That don't mean that they gonna leave, leave his broad. That's why when the girls be like, I can fuck your nigga. He, that don't mean he gonna leave her. Cause bitch, he gonna go home. I mean, that really don't say a lot either. He gonna go home. And I used to tell all them dudes that used to be over there like, man, you can... I'm like, bro, don't you know you'll get more pussy now than you ever got? I used to see this shit with my eyes, especially hood, hood, hood hoes, because hood, hood hoes can't believe that hood niggas be doing that. Uh-uh, he, they lying. He paying... He, that punk paying him. Like, how I'm paying him? Be, bitch, I got a... I, I barely got a window up pot. Barely. He making it two bags a week. It's ten dollars. <laughs> But my thing is, I do believe at the end of the day that that man does identify as straight. And he can still be that. He can still be a heterosexual man. I think that they be pansexual or just fluid. And fluid mean if the dick hard, you going to fuck some. I tell y'all this all the time. Nobody want to hear me. Nobody want to hear me. But I say it all the time. I'm going to say it until I leave the planet. And even from heaven, I'm going to be screaming down here. And y'all, my, my voice going to be echoing. I don't think that every man is homosexual. I don't think that every man is trans-attracted. Trans -attracted. I don't think that. I don't believe that. I don't do not believe that every single man is. But what I do believe, that if a dick get hard, it will fuck or suck. That's what I believe. Again, for those that don't understand, I don't believe that every man is gay. I don't believe that every man is homosexual. I don't believe that every man likes transsexuals. I do not believe that. I do not believe that. I do believe that if a dick get hard, it is motherfucking fucking suck. If a dick get hard, it a bust. That's what I believe. If a dick get hard and it's nut sex attached to that bitch, it a bust. That's what I believe. Now, y'all can tie that up and wrap that up and, and fold it up and say that I'm, y'all could do all that and, and try to put that out in the world like, oh, she, this was she. At the end of the day, 
I don't believe that all men are trans attracted. I don't believe that all men are gay. I believe that if a dick get hard and it's nuts attached to that motherfucker, the nuts will bust. Some would may admit to the nut getting busted. Some may not. Sometimes it feels like a nut. And all the time, you do. <laughs> it just don't get no simpler than that for me. You can watch countless interviews you can watch countless interviews, countless interviews of me saying, I don't think that all men are homosexual. I don't think that all men like transsexuals, but I do think that if it's a dick involved in the situation and it get hard, it'll bust. Is agreed. It's a bodily. Hold on. It's agreed. It's a bodily function. No matter who makes it happen. <laughs> Some may say they gonna let a nigga do it, and then others may say they won't, and we'll let a nigga do it. <laughs> Who's to say? Hold on, about the gym. I seen a gym come in. That's it. Put that Wait, gym coming up okay. there. I'm a gay man that work they work out a lot at the gym. A lot of straight men appreciate another man. Don't mean they're gay. It just happened. I 69. Oh. <laughs> and that's coming from a man. Because there's a difference between a gay man and a transgender woman. Big difference. Big huge, huge difference. It ain't the same pool. It ain't the same. Huge difference. What the hell is that going on outside? I don't know. All I do, all I'm hearing is my mama phone just going off up there. <laughs> Bertha said, do you think people can be turned out? Ain't no such thing as turned out. Unless it's with T.S. Madison. Uh, that's right, and that's a talk show. <laughs> Ain't no such a thing as turned out. You could be turned on. You can be turned on. So you can be turned on. Ain't someone no said the sauna be crazy. <laughs> what, with the men's in there? Shit. I, uh, damn, okay. Well, let me I need, listen. I may get down into the gym and like, get out of here, bitch. It happens. I don't had these conversations before. You feel me? I don't had these conversations with no men's like men's. That means everything, man. That don't mean nothing to do. They used to have sex parties, right? Here in Atlanta, from my understanding. And I used to talk to some participants because we friends. Uh -huh. And when I found out they was going to the sex, party, I was like, girl, really? And they started talking to me like it was the they said that how they used to turn the transsexuals their boyfriend at the door. Mm -mm, we don't want no trans in here. This is men only. I was I heard that there's a uh there's a place people go to here. It's a lot of places here they go to. I just heard can I I don't know if I can say it all. What you talking about? The, the, I heard there's one called uh Tokyo, Tokyo Valentino. Yeah. Well, the, 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 they be, you ain't seen the videos on Twitter. On Twitter, they be busy in that bitch. I watch them all. I watch all. <laughs> Said I watch them all. <laughs> I watch all them damn videos that go over to Tokyo Valentino. 
and then they got the trans thing that go on down there. Oh, some really? Of the, some of the girls, it's a lot of shit. Like, it's about what you are at your, fucking, what you want to give you your nut. <laughs> uh, Poetic just said, there be flyers for it on Twitter. <laughs> TV said, heads to Twitter. <laughs> He said Tokyo heavy on lunch break. <laughs> what? Dang. He said a lot of the sex club ban trans women. They do. Oh, really? Yes. Yes, they do. Because you know what they look at that that that's again that me make me me fighting my thing of men that like men like men men that like men and women like men and women and men that like men women and trans women are fluid. You can't just put nobody in a box because of what they are attracted to. Oh, oh, Diamond said trans women are not accepted in every room. And that's true. That's true. What do you think about female studs being attracted to trans women, but the beautiful ones? Because they see pretty trans and, you know, some studs won't like, you know, I can't, I can't speak necessarily for studs because I'm not a stud, but my synopsis and not speak. So don't take my word as law. I think because it's a it's a, it's a, it's the it's it's damn it's a woman, and for those that like penetration, they they get, can get penetrated. By the real thing, I ain't finna put no motherfucking plastic in my ass. The only time plastic goes in my motherfucking ass is when I'm making sure that that dick that dick I'm getting it ready for that dick. <laughs> I gotta make sure that dick don't get no 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 mud on it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in there and get all the mud out first. Oh my goodness. Before any dick go in there. <laughs> oh, that's not even what I mean. Before that dick go in there, I'm going to put that goddamn that damn Theodore, in my mama's words, Theodora in me and get, get out, <laughs> scoop all that goddamn poop out and, and keep the keep that bitch clean. So when the when the nigga hitting that, I'm I'm laying down, bitch, with the with the with the confidence that my ticket that like it, like a lot of you Christians be laying up laying over there confident that y'all seat in heaven is secure. That's how I lay down after when I after I done do consistently <laughs> and put that deal though with me. Your future is secure. <laughs> like my oh, I'm so oh, baby. Oh, I, oh, oh, I'm gonna do this. I got this. <laughs> I'm taking all this. And then, and then even with that, a motherfucker may hit the air pocket. He be like, oh, <laughs> oh, Lord. How you got those beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chickens, ribs, turkey, and love? You know it! Oh, my goodness. My ex has 10 kids. All what it was me. <laughs> I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkey, the you name it, bitch. And then some of them lay down there with the some some folks lay down with the confidence, like I know my body. Okay, <laughs> when I hear my tell me they know their body, I'm laying three towels down. <laughs> That's like you telling me you know your dog and your dog got teeth. <laughs> <laughs> your dog got teeth. Oh my. So it said the air pockets would trick you. They will trick you. They will because I done dished for hours mobile before because mm -hmm. I knew that the, the person I was dealing with had the anacondas. I knew it. Dushed for hours. Thought I was ready. Put that last wrench in that wrench shot. That's why uh -huh. I use the Deodora now. The Deodora. 
<laughs> I use the Deodora Janine because that Deodora goes up in there and it hits that water, but that little that little pocket of water that been not, not hidden over there on the side. <laughs> I be going in there with that Deodorant and getting that thing. It's a lot. This is why I don't get fucked a lot because it's a lot of preparation for me. To, to yeah. I don't okay. got time. For, I ain't be going through all that. I goes in there and hit that motherfucker thing with that dick because I done dish it just for hours and then say, all right, let me let me just give it a break. Like Neil called her, give me a break. I sure deserve it. <laughs> and I go over there and sat down. <laughs> I ain't nothing moving. Get in the shower, bathe, and I watch, and then like, ooh, do you know, do what rub, rub across the stomach, do a little push. You like, oh my uh, god, it's brown, little brown, little tinge. Come on out, and then be it still be some air pocket water in there, little turbulence. Yeah, that's too much work. That's too much work. Oh, but wait, listen, if if the dick worth it, you gonna go in there and handle that, <laughs> so that you can lay down and ah ah do all of that. <laughs> Yeah, because then you gotta wait. Yeah, at least at least you do it before your your guests come. Because to be there, and to be wait, waiting, you like what's what's what's. Most what's so you don't have somebody going that dish. You waiting on them? No, 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 no. I'm just imagining. Usually, oh, okay. usually, if, usually if they come over, it, it's well. That lady came over there, shat on shat on you, but she ate it though. So you know. Yeah, I'll never forget that nasty bitch. I didn't know I would ever meet somebody like that. Nasty bitch. You ain't lying. You know, and wanted to continue. You didn't finish. She shit it on me, man, and ate it though. Yeah, you didn't finish. No. Oh, did you put her out? I know you didn't sit there and eat with her. <laughs> oh hell no! Hell no! Hell no! Did it make you stop fucking and fucking women's in the ass? Actually, that was the last time I did it. Oh, honey, then you missing out on some good things. That huh? was the last time I did it. I was like, "Oh, child, honey, you see this? That's why y'all don't be want to. Y'all be having these bad experiences, honey. <laughs> y'all got to drop the zeros to get with the heroes." <laughs> <laughs> y'all niggas got to drop the zeros to get with the heroes in this bit. You know. I was like, like, I, okay, I won't say I will never do it again, but there has to be a lot of talking and preparation for that. You don't, they ain't gonna talk to you about the per see. I'm sitting here telling you what the preparation be. <laughs> if you don't ask that bitch how many times she shoved that deal Dordre in her ass to make sure there wasn't no duke can come out of that bitch and she say she don't know what the fuck that is, don't fuck that bitch in the ass. <laughs> Don't fuck her in the ass. <laughs> get you a deal, Georgia. <laughs> Ladies, if you want to get your ass busted, get you a deal, Georgia. Get douche your ass out. Tammy was telling me the other day. She said, Ma, you got to get that pink bag and hang that, <laughs> and hang that bag up in the shower and put that thing in your ass and let the thing open up. I said, No, nah, girl, I like the ones in the damn fleet bottle box with the, the, the one that's the real big one. Then I can squeeze it in there a couple of times. So when you, you know, put the bottle to you and you squeeze it in there? Yeah. I don't use the liquid in there. I don't use the liquid in there because I, I, something about that liquid, I don't, I don't trust it. I use, uh, I use, uh, 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 not pure, um, what they send me that stuff over here. Batum, batum. Oh, I use oh, that. Batum, batum. I use it and I be dropping the liquid and stuff in there and then you know and it when I when I when it when it when it run through me be having a fresh scent running through, you know. So wait, so the, the what what did you call it? The the Theodora? What, what I, I say in the words in my mother's tongue, Theodora. <laughs> or Deodora. But I so but, is that the same thing but when like we be animal? sitting around no a Deodora Deodora Theodora is a dildo. Oh, oh, you see, I don't know nothing I'll about this. I take a dildo, a Deodorja. <laughs> okay. When we pig Latin, when the girls pig Latin with each other, girl, the deal Dorja girl. I was wondering what is when a I take a deal Dorja <laughs> and go up in there and spin around and make sure that mud is clear, that the pathway, you know. I didn't know. I didn't even ask her. So by sorry, uh, shy, shy. I, I can't pronounce it. Shaheem, Shaheem, I believe. No, I didn't ask her. She, she, she asked me to do it. 
And so that's why she playing on shitting on you. That's what it was. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. how you gonna ask somebody to fuck you in the ass and then so, you sit so on? Some women like Adel though. I, 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 but I, how you gonna ask him to fuck you in the ass and you leave a whole goddamn? Yeah, uh, that was, that was, that you was. He leave a whole bowl on his man's nuts. <laughs> Dirty bitch. Now, if you get hit from the bike and the, the, the love come down by ass, because it, it has happened to me a few times. But because I know that it happens, and I know that I got one of those good pussies that uh-huh. that, that when they get in there, be like, "Ooh, shit!" And I know it's gonna be a, a a banging. But it's not like, but what I'm talking about, it's not like okay. When I brought it out, it was like a little bit. I was covered. Oh, you were covered. I was covered from tip to base. Yes. Yes, yeah, she playing on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like it was a little bit. I, I was a. Uh, she tipped the base you. Yeah, basically. That's basically what happened. So, yeah, I would have to do the same thing that you said you would do. I would have to submerge. Hey, man. You ain't watching the show. I'm in here talking about you. Told me to take that motherfucking bag, girl. Oh do you in the bathroom right now with that big ass bag? Girl, she the she the one told me to take this big ass bag. Oh, she called the little douche ball the poker butt, but that ain't a poker butt. <laughs> she that hurts me. I can't poke myself with that before I get sore, then I can't handle dick. Oh, okay. Well, you from the bays now? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, but you got your deal doors your bag. I mean your uh <laughs> not your deal doors, your uh you got your your douche bag hanging in your shower. Hey, you know why you like to You see, darling, you are a whore. Bye, Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> so ba- so basically you clean you 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 douche and you clean yourself and then you use the deal dora. To check. The deal, though, I that's what I do to check. I do that okay. to make sure. No, if I tell you to come over here and fuck me in my ass, that ass is ready. <laughs> it ain't finna be because you can't come over here until the ass is ready. You can't oh, come. Okay, over, you can't okay. come here to the and I ain't coming well, to least, you at least you consider it though. Consider it. Do you know how embarrassing that is to be let a motherfucker hit you? Well, I, my story obviously tells you some you people know are how embarrassed. Embarrassed that is, embarrassing <laughs> for a motherfucker to be hitting you, and all of a sudden you smell Taco Bell and you like, oh no, <laughs> because the very first thing that you do is you smell that shit first, because it's one of those odors, because it's going up in that, it, it's going up in that colon and it tests the track, <laughs> and it's hitting something that's breaking some of that some shit you had in your stomach from <laughs> yesterday that been sitting in there. <laughs> Consider it, bitch. Ain't nobody finna be a bear. I, I'm not. I read a comment up on the video, up on one of my poor videos that somebody wrote up under that bitch lying on me, talking about I fucked her two years ago and that bitch left a whole glob of shit on my dick. Oh lord. I said, bitch. I want to respond on that comment, say, bitch, you ain't never fucked me no two years ago, cause I wasn't even fucking two years ago, bitch. <laughs> I wasn't even doing no dirty movies two years ago. So, mm. bitch, you lied on me. <laughs> <laughs> you nasty bitch. You lied on motherfucking me. Oh, my goodness. This movie did say smell like Taco Bell. I'm telling you, when you get hit from that, and when you get hit in your ass, and, and and an accident about to happen, you get a small warning. <laughs> it's either a poop. <laughs> it's either when that dick come out and there's a small stench that comes afterward. It's something. You know how you you be farting and you be you fart so many times like, oh wait, I got if I fart again, I'm gonna have to shit. <laughs> Let me go to the bathroom. Yes. <laughs> you keep farting and you like, hold up. This don't feel like hold up. It's supposed to feel because like. if I fart one more time. Or one of them farts come out and it's so stuck, you like, nah, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> That's right. Your lasagna timer is ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. The doodle do got voodoo on it. It do. That's why you keep this will keep them niggas in it keeps them niggas in your ass. But <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. 
Let's go ahead on and move on to something else. Well, well no, we, we might be at this state. We have another topic. What is the topic about with this? What is going on? Well, Let, <sighs> oh, since we're in the same room. So come on. Safari said that he walked in the bathroom. He said, so I just walked into the bathroom at a certain establishment. Now, we hear what he said, a certain, certain establishment. Yes, yes, yes. And tell me why this dude was in there beating his meat so hard looking at his phone. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Why wouldn't you make sure the door was locked? Like, damn, that was traumatizing. I told y'all this is shit that happened to Boosie. <laughs> Boosie came around that corner and them niggas was grabbing ankles. Ugh, 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 ugh. Grabbing ankles in prison. But why are people masturbating in public, though? Mo, he said at a certain establishment. We don't know if that was public or not. He said a certain establishment. Okay, that's what we heard. A certain establishment. Most likely it was. Most likely it was a public. Mo, first establishment. of all, he said a certain establishment. It was most likely a per. Clear it up. <laughs> Clear it up. Clear it up. Clear it up. Where was it at? You don't want to be clear about it. Clear it up. Where y'all was at? Was you at the trapeze? Clear it up. <laughs> Clear it up, Safari. Oh my goodness. But it no, you can say leave the man alone. He should have he can wait until he can wait until he get home. Clear no, you can't because shit. I don't been, I don't went right up there on lunch break, bitch. <laughs> and that blessed me one. Came right down and washed my hands and came to worry. <laughs> <laughs> really? Clear it up! Really, Maddie? <laughs> is this what we become? This is definitely what we... <laughs> but, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Tell me what, nigga? <laughs> is this what we... Is this, <laughs> is this what we are? <laughs> is this what we become? Tell me. <laughs> Where is it at, Mo? No, you did delete no, my I did, I did not delete it. Oh, my God. Is this who we are? Is this what we represent? <laughs> <laughs> okay, which brings me back to my point. Okay. Okay. Now, what I just said earlier. They said he might have been making content. Okay. Now, what did I just say earlier? With the deal low. Oh, if it get if it get hard. What did I just say earlier? You said if it get hard. I said if the dick get hard and it's balls, it's gonna bust. Yes, you did say that. Now, if you think that if Safari was on some freak shit and fell down in there and <laughs> fell on that dick and something, do you think that that nigga wouldn't have got his dick sucked? Really? <laughs> I'm just being one hundred. Oh my goodness! Come on, let's talk about it. Do if that nigga was in there beating his meat. To whatever was on his mind, and Safari so happened to slip and fall down on it, and his throat went down on it. Do you think he was gonna stop him, or was he gonna bust that motherfucker? Madison, down? there is no way Man, somebody can somewhere. slip and fall, go on somewhere, and your home. throat end up on somebody's dick. I done did it a lot. <laughs> really? You did that a lot. You just slipped and fell, and your yeah, mouth yeah. ended up on somebody's dick. On a banana peel, it was on the floor. <laughs> I just want to know. Something's wrong with you. Something's wrong. With I just want to know and if you, he if he would have had made the if he would have if he busted there saw that man beat he say and he didn't just say he said he was beat put it up that we he said he was beating it hard he was beating it hard. <laughs> he said he was beating it hard. He was beating that motherfucker. He was cool to Kente in that bitch. <laughs> He said, I just walked into the bathroom. Beating his meat so hard. <laughs> Looking at, at his phone. phone. I'm like, yo, what the F? Why don't you make sure the door was locked? Like, Now damn. tell me if he would have slipped and fell on, a, on, that, on that invisible banana peel. Oh, Lord. And his, now he's like, oh. Do you think that man would have been like, yo, bro, I ain't gay. Oh, well, he would have motherfucker said, you know what? Oh, Lord. Dear Lord. <laughs> no comment, Maddie. I don't know. You don't need to comment. <laughs> ain't no need. And shit always proved my point all the motherfucking time. 
Oh, my goodness. So it said he had to have been in a trance. Whatever. But had, 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 I, would that have made him gay? No. Somebody would have just slipped and fell down on him while he was big. Hey, nobody slipping and falling on no dick, man. I'd have numerous times. <laughs> You're not going to take away my lived experiences, Mo. You've been trying to do this every day. That is it. My lived experiences. So you me. slipped and then somebody's dick was just all out in pub, I mean, just out. Somebody's dick was out and you just fell and your mouth ended up on their dick. Is that what you say? Oh my God. Is this who we are? Is this what we represent? <laughs> and now you got people in here talking about I've done it. Yeah, they have. Everybody is. That's a bullshit. Y'all full of bullshit. <laughs> Y'all full of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> There's something wrong with y'all. You don't think I will imagine slip on a banana? It be too many banana peels on the floor. <laughs> you got people saying Mo don't understand how slippery the flow be for us, right? for, us girls. for the girls. So y'all just be slipping all over the place. I may trip on my shoe. <laughs> And y'all condoned this. Y'all are condoning this. Okay, no problem. <laughs> that that's definitely what Safari looked. That's <gasps> de- Safari came in and he was like, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Look, <laughs> say I only trip in the hood. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> So y'all, all of y'all in these comments just be slipping and falling on dicks. Is that what y'all telling me? Pika pika. <laughs> pika pika. I'm not judging y'all. I'm not judging y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm just curious on how all of y'all have fallen on dicks. Pika pika. <laughs> People say my balance is bad. <laughs> you know my knees can't hold up all this. Pika pika. You know what? Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Mm. I, I believe y'all. Y'all be y'all be tripping on dicks. You sure do. <laughs> we ain't tripping over no nigga, but we damn sure trip tripping on the dicks. Some dicks. <laughs> Aaron W said, "I got, I got vertigo." <laughs> pika pika. Oh my goodness, slip and slide records, really? <laughs> oh my goodness, we gonna let the bands handle this. Uh, what y'all oh. saying on Twitter? Y'all messy. Y'all are. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Pika pika. Y'all are something else. <laughs> Slipped past this. Okay, I hear y'all. I hear y'all. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Pika, Pika. Pikachu! <laughs> oh, my God. I never heard of slipping on dicks before, but, hey, y'all got that. Y'all got that. You remind me of my G. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is that, how come every single one of y'all, and like, it's every single one of y'all in these comments that slipped and fell? Because, Mo, they know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> they know what it is. Hold on. Oh, hey, sister. Y'all are funny. I swear, y'all are funny. Okay, just doing my live show right now. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, I'm okay. Yeah, I'll call you after the show because I'm, I'm gonna be in LA from the 20 something <laughs> to the first. Okay, that'll work. All right, my baby. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. <sighs> anyway, so I'm not judging Safari, but you know, shit, I would have looked the dick. I would have looked and made a tweet about it too. <laughs> but after, I would have got up off the flow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh. No mo. Like, we American. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's an American thing to be slipping. But Alpha Zulu. That's what I'm with. What sucking dick doesn't make me gay. It just makes me a dick sucker. <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait a minute. B- Bimber say I've been slipping since I was 15. Hell no, Bimber baby. Y'all the best. Bimber baby. Oh my God. Y'all the best. Y'all the best. Y'all, anyway. I I don't slip. I go, I dive. I don't slip. Ain't nothing wrong with that, Mo. What you dive? Or yeah. If you dive, I never slipped slip, inside slip, pussy. I, I dive. Oh. Mine is mine is not mine is not mistakenly. Well, I makes a lot of mistakes, you know. Hanuka, Hanuka. Those are your those are you making mistakes. Hanuka, <laughs> oh, you be making mistakes like that. <laughs> then this thing I know it start throwing up. I'm like, what happened? I didn't throw up, but it did. <laughs> Yes, yeah, Sophia basically said, I keep on falling <laughs> in and out of love. Come on, Mo, let's go to the next thing. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Well, we do have some other uh, videos. What we got? Well, we we have. Uh, Is it funny? This. Well, that's the, uh, let me see this up here. Right here? No. Oh, this one? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Is that is that TV? That was on TV. Mm-mm. Okay, so I just click, click. Yeah. Okay. Well, this one. You know. Was that on TV? No. Let me see. So disgusting. There's a dead rat in her suit. We just puked. Oh my God. Now you know goddamn where we. <laughs> Hold on. <clears throat> Hold on. Hold on. Let, let me get my thoughts right before I say this. <laughs> let, me, let me pray real quick. <laughs> let me pray real quick. Glory to God. Hey, but I thank God. Honda BBBI shot. God, look on right now. In the name of Jesus, healing hands, touch and deliver. Healing hands, touch and make whole. Hallelujah. Ha. Honda BBBI shot. Look on every man, every woman, every boy, and every girl. Hey, EBI Shondo. God, we came to praise you. We came to lift you up. We came to magnify your holy name. Hey, E-B-B-I Shatai, because truly the name of the Lord is a high tower. The righteous run in, and they are saved. Hey, E-B-B-I Shonama, God, as this broadcast airs, hey, E-B-I Shondo, let a spirit of encouragement sweep over your people. This is Evangelist Mary L. McCracken, and you are listening to the Holy Ghost Outreach Broadcast. Hey, E-B-B-I Shonama. And I tell you, I tell you, I am fat up because I'm wrapped up and tangled up with the Lord. I am fat up because I'm on my way to heaven and I'm certainly enjoying the trip. Hey, E-B-B-I Shonama. He's real down on the inside. Truly, we have a special broadcast today. I brought a... You see? Could do it. Nah. <sighs> let it sink in, Maddie. Let it sink in. Now you know damn well. <laughs> you got a TV. <laughs> you got a internet. Yep. And you hear the whispers. <laughs> You mean to tell me you're going to go around there to them people's place and truly think <laughs> that they, they don't have no exotic meats in there? <laughs> exotic meats? Exotic meats. <laughs> That's what that is? So you, 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 
<laughs> That's what it is. Exotic meat. You, you be to tell me that you <laughs> gonna go around to those people's place. Oh my goodness! And think <laughs> that you not gonna get. Listen, we all have had a piece of some of that desired meat on mm-hmm. our plate before. <laughs> because when me and when Miss Eve was alive, uh-huh. we used to tear this com- this place up, and it, it was the combination H. And one day we was tearing that combination H up, and Miss Eve said to me, "Myrtle, this is not chicken." <laughs> She said, Myrtle, this not chicken, Myrtle. So she knew. She said, Myrtle, I'm telling you, this not. She said, Myrtle, I've been cooking for years. It's not chicken. <laughs> Myrtle, this is not chicken. We used to fuck that combination H up. A months later, uh-huh. that place was closed down. And it said the reason why? They never gave the reason why. But- <laughs> But that business used to be a flourishing business. And been, that place never opened back up again. This place up here by my motherfucking house uh-huh. used to be flourishing. And I would see the cats running all up, r- running all around that bitch. And then I would see them not running around that <laughs> Okay. Okay. That place closed down. It is a dentist's office now. Is a di- it is a whole dentist place, okay? I want you to understand that when you go down there to the motherfucking to the to the bok choy house, <laughs> <laughs> when you go down there to the Kim bok choy house, bitch, ain't no use of y'all calling the police on these people. No, ain't no use to that. Ain't no use of y'all doing that. Ain't no use. Of, you gotta understand when you when you got that when it's a when you got that real craving, take like I, I'm craving some some, some, Chinese, some Chinese, Chinese food or some I want some pad Thai. I want some. You gotta know when you go down there to bok choy <laughs> that it is a pure possibility that you may eat real chicken. Okay, okay, I have a question, man. That you may eat real chicken or that you may eat real motherfucking beef. You might. Okay, how about the seafood? Oh, I, or, that's why I go in there. <laughs> Somebody put the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that's why when I have a craving for that shit, seafood. I do. I either shrimp. do shrimp or vegetable. Okay, good because I do shrimp. I do shrimp. I stopped eating they uh they beef and chicken <laughs> because, and especially if you live in New York City. Have you seen the rats in your New York Bro, city? Bro, oh my. It's a surplus of meat. What is you talking about? What do you mean a surplus of this meat? It's a meat surplus. This isn't the last of us. It, it possibly is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Really? Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Oh, the remix said. The same with African food. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Y- y'all better not come in here try to dis- try to put a bad name on us Africans. That is not true. You don't oh, if you don't know what kind of meat's in a goosey, just ask. I have but don't asked. make a sub- don't make a I sub- have sub- asked. And I've actually have watched it be prepared. <laughs> I just don't feel like the snail, beef, <laughs> chicken, fish, and lamb need to be in the same pot. I just don't. The flavors ain't flavoring. <laughs> At, was the, was what you saw? Was it more of a buck bang? Man, or was I it... don't know. It was so, they was making a damn uh whatever the shit is. It don't need to be. Don't, don't start me with that. Look, look, don't don't come for my Africans. I ain't going nowhere. We don't we don't eat we don't eat rats and cats and dogs. You damn sure fuck a goat up. We will fuck a goat and up. A goat eats everything. <laughs> don't do that. I was you cannot get all can. goats. If you eat pork, you cannot get all goats. If you eat any type of pork, you cannot get all goats. I refuse to accept you getting all goats if you eat pork. Because goats, I mean, pork is way worse than goats. You go down there to bok choy. (laughs) (laughs) You run your ass down there to bok choy if you want to. 
And then you get on here talking about some of y'all throwing up. You knew when you walked in Bok Choy that it was a possibility that you was going to eat real meat, real beef, and real chicken. Other than that, if you in New York City, the surplus of rat meat is off the chain. <laughs> Now, I fought them for not cutting it up all the way right. <laughs> really? That was the only thing? For not cutting it up. <laughs> Cut it up! <laughs> I fought them for not motherfucking. <laughs> That's what I'm charging that restaurant. <laughs> y'all know y'all do this. Why you didn't cut it up? Why you didn't dice that shit? See, that's why I don't eat. Listen to me. That's why I don't eat pork fried rice from them. <laughs> Because it be this funny looking pork. I'm like, no. <laughs> the little pieces of pork in the pork fried rice. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And it all look funny. I'm like, uh uh-uh. uh. Hell to the gnaw. See? Y'all better start looking. Y'all better start being careful what y'all eating. These people, fa- they didn't. You're right though. They did not even cut up the, that. They didn't cut up the rat. They just, it's like they just. They just dropped it in dropped there, that in and though. then they. Now you knew when you were serving that in that bowl <laughs> that that clump that fell over in that blue plate wasn't cut up. Cut it out. Could have taken out the bowls. Like you know, you, you saw the tail though in there, right? Cut it up. Dice it. Never, God forbid. It would have took nothing for the day. I could never eat Chinese food in New York ever again. I mean, I was up there. I had some. Some what? Shrimp fried rice. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I ordered Jameson the sizzling beef. <laughs> oh, you could have. You didn't want Jameson, huh? He wanted sizzling beef. <laughs> I told him, I said, now, nah, and I, I gave him that disclaimer. <laughs> now, babe, you know we're in New York City. <laughs> and you do know that it's a possibility <laughs> that you may be eating real beef. I didn't say it was a possibility that you would eat rat. I said it's a possibility that you might be eating real beef. So in other words, there may be a possibility that you might not be eating real beef. No, there's a possibility that it's it, it's a for sure fact that you're not eating real beef. In this <laughs> I just want you to know there's a possibility that you may not. You may be eating real beef or not. <laughs> But at the beginning, middle, and end of the day, it's, it's around a 50-50 chance. <laughs> it's a 50-50 motherfucking chance. Deborah, you said pork fried rice is canned and, and hog meat. Oh, no. Listen, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it to be true. I ain't going to be the one to put it out there. But I just want, I'm going to say this again so that you can understand. Oh, Lord. You run your goddamn ass down there to bok choy. <laughs> <laughs> the house of Kong. The Ming House, the the Mandarin Garden. <laughs> Katsuya. Golden Gates. Golden Gate. <laughs> Grand China. <laughs> Great Wall. The Great Wall. All these names, because we all have them in our neighborhood. <laughs> you run down there to these places. There is a possibility <laughs> that they didn't cut it up. <laughs> <laughs> so it said the Dragon Diner. <laughs> <laughs> the Dragon Palace. <laughs> oh, Hong Kong Buffet. <laughs> Either. Oh. Oh, Somebody wow. 
about to put McDonald's. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. No, 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 baby. McDonald's is serving human meat. <laughs> <laughs> you eat at McDonald's, you guys, you definitely have had a piece of human. You have definitely been, you are definitely cannibal. You have cannibal. <laughs> I definitely have eaten a man or two from McDonald's. <laughs> I I mean, literally and figuratively. Literally and figuratively. I'm not even sit up here and tell y'all no motherfucking lie. Bitch, McDonald's serves human meat. That's just what it is. At least, just, at least, bok choy remains in the animal kingdom. We be out here at the McDonald's. It is over a billion served and over the one billion served. Oh, you eating Thomas? <laughs> You down to eat Thomasina, <laughs> Frederick, <laughs> Rufus, <laughs> Ken. People be wondering, hey, have you seen Robert? No, I haven't seen him. I ain't the- seen it. <laughs> All the missing people. Where is McDonald's getting this endless amount of meat from? <laughs> Every time I turn around, McDonald's is on every call. Ma- listen, McDonald's say, ooh, it's land, McDonald's. <laughs> oh, my God, land right there, McDonald's. <laughs> land, McDonald's. Someone said unclaimed bodies from the morgue. Right. <laughs> Motherfuckers down there picking up John Doe's every day. <laughs> oh, the Leroy Jenkins. Oh, Leroy. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, McDonald's. I'm trying to tell you. So we all done went down there. We done, we all got a piece of us in us. <laughs> Two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. <laughs> With a little back sauce. <laughs> that shit don't burn, Mo. Don't You're burn. right. It doesn't burn. It don't burn. I saw somebody they 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 put a McDonald's burger in a in a in safe a, in, yeah, and then they brought it back out and it was still all together. It didn't decompose. No. Y'all better watch what y'all putting in y'all bodies now. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm hungry, precious. I'm hungry. <laughs> But I, what I don't want them people to do is sit up there and complain when they know they went down there. I, and none of y'all, y'all got to stop doing the shit. Listen, when I have a craving for Chinese food, I tell myself, oh, well, Madison, oh, well, this oh, well. I think back on Miss Eve telling me, ooh, Miss, ooh, murder, that motherfucking whatever, that, that cat was good. <laughs> I always say, oh, well, that combination ain't just the one. Oh, my goodness. Y'all talking about plant-based? All right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm going to eat me some. You know. He said, I'm going vegan. Uh, well, shit, it's too late now. We done already <laughs> edited. <laughs> we, we, we done already edited already. It's already <laughs> at. <laughs> I'm trying to... In the case of bok choy, <laughs> I'm only charging the restaurant with grand theft for stealing them people's motherfucking hopes and dreams. <laughs> Of eating beef because you know when you go down there to that bok choy, y'all are supposed to cut it up, <laughs> cut it up. Oh yes, I test PF chains up. I do too. I'm not gonna lie about PF chains. I PF fuck chains PF chains up, and you know what I eat when I go down there? What? Mongolian beef. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy on the man, Mongolian <laughs> beef. And before we leave to go out of California, murder. Uh-huh. Well, we will be stopping by my PM chain, chain. <laughs> like we normally do when we get ready to head out. They just got to cut it up. <laughs> that's that's going to be my motherfucking lie. Cut it up. Oh my Cut God. it up. Dice it up. Make sure I can't recognize the bitch. <laughs> but doesn't it taste different, though? Just put that Mongolian sauce on it. <laughs> <laughs> now cover the taste. <laughs> Cut it up! Cut it up! All right, well, let's move on, child. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Cut it up! Did you want, you want to talk about this thing? Round to the end part. Well, let's go up here, and we have some situations. What does happen in the world now? What, well, is, what is that red and white stuff right up there? Mom? Oh, right here. Oh, what that is. Man allegedly posed as grocery employee to steal seven hundred thousand dollars worth of seafood. 
See, this story is kind of like that story about them chicken wings. <laughs> That lady that stole over one million dollars worth of chicken. Yeah, Remember, right. we talked about this the other week. Yes. How do y'all bitches keep getting got? <laughs> How do y'all get got, girl? I don't know. Well, how do they keep getting got like this? I don't know. Some people, you know what I think it is, Maddie. Some people don't know when to fold their hand. Some people just keep going. And people don't know when to stop. Bro, listen to me. Okay, listen good. <laughs> what is you gonna put? Where in the fuck is you gonna put seven hundred thousand? Hold on, wait a minute. Let me <laughs> let me back. Let me say this right. Okay. Because chicken wings is different from from, <laughs> from crab and yeah, seafood. I don't know where you are gonna hide a million dollar worth of chicken wings. <laughs> seafood is different because you going there to Publix right now. You are gonna spend two hundred and thirty seven dollars for two pounds of fish. That's true. That's so very much so. True. So he might have stole seven hundred thousand dollars worth of crab meat, and he probably it's probably the bag this big right now. <laughs> so and, I gotta I got to rethink that, and it depends on the crab too. Yes, because if it's the, the if it's those king king crab, yeah, yeah, you just need about three he, of those. He either got three legs. <laughs> <laughs> you only get about three legs on that bit. <laughs> you know, the way seafood is right now, that shit hotter than gallon of gas. Oh, who are you telling? During the motherfucking Bush Biden and Reagan administration. <laughs> it's high. You, so, I right, listen, we gonna let that nigga go. <laughs> Set that nigga free. Now, if he throws chicken away, that's a different story. Chicken away is high. That and eggs. <laughs> that and eggs. And eggs. Right. And eggs. You're right. You, you, can, you, right. Can run a, you can run a tabulation of eggs up to a million dollars <laughs> with two cottons if you fuck around and play, play with it. You know. <laughs> right. Shit. Look, so, look, they said Blood spent uh, 2100 on King Crab. Right. Imagine. Yeah. So 700000 ain't that far off. <laughs> no, it ain't. ain't that far. <laughs> You get two crab legs, you, you <laughs> hell, you go, you carry your ass down there to the juicy crab, you leave out that bitch paying two, three hundred dollars, <laughs> and you sit over there, damn, I'm still hungry. It wasn't up two eggs in one cluster of crabs in this bitch. How and we a potato, sp- and a potato. And a potato. How we, <laughs> how this shit two hundred and fifty thousand dollars? God <laughs> damn. <laughs> you shit. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you are not lying. Bitch! You are not. Lying. <laughs> you, you, you go and don't get no motherfucking no key crab, <laughs> Alaska key crab. Bitch, that's eighty five dollars a leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, hell no! <laughs> Go back, go. Uh, let me see what. Let me see that the red and white picture. Let me okay, see the bitch. Hold on, hold on. Hell no, nah, bitch. Yeah. Oh, if I, that's the crap, is oh, that the crap? Hold oh, no, on, wait a minute. And they pose as a grocery store employee. And listen, if he down there to publish grocery, <laughs> he ran that billion dollars up in thirty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> if he down there working in public doing that, oh yeah, waiting on the motherfucking fish truck to pull up. <laughs> That's what he might have did too. Waiting for that fish truck to pull up. Had that damn white jacket on, they be wearing in the back like the butchers, <laughs> like the butchers wear that white jacket. All the pullers for had a white jackets on with their name tag in that bit. Instead of out there waiting on the fish truck to pull up, and he just opened his trunk because he putting up a two crates and two boxes in there, right. and that was seven hundred thousand dollars right there. You're right. Oh, so it said one cluster took all my EBT. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and they ain't lying they ain't cause every time teacher get his food step, I run that motherfucking shit to the ground I said girl let's go get us some crabs and stuff <laughs> we be standing that shit be three four hundred dollars oh my god I'm like god damn I got to pull out my damn debit card to go with the EBT card. Oh, my goodness. Because they be giving you about three, four hundred dollars on EBT. Man, and you swipe that bitch one time in the seafood department, you done. <laughs> <laughs> you done. 
Oh my god. See, that's the new hustle. You need to get a you need to get a fish truck, a crab truck, and go out there and start motherfucking pedaling the damn snow crabs. <laughs> Man, I got these crab for sale. I got these crab for sale. Shit. I got these clusters of crab. Them shit's higher than steaks. <laughs> You're not lying. That shit higher than Tomahawk steaks. You are not lying. You are not lying. And that's crazy to me. I remember when steaks used to be high as shit. Damn. So what, what what's the judgment for uh Mr. Impersonator? Set him free, honey. <laughs> Set him free. As long as he can bring me a bag of the damn snow crab, we all right. <laughs> See, because I know I know the struggle. <laughs> Being down there to them people's place. Uh, <laughs> But what we what did we eat somewhere at the seafood place? It was like, God damn. Yeah, we did. I try to remember. Man, what shit. I'm like, nigga, I ain't got but two eggs in here. <laughs> two eggs, one piece of corn, and two potatoes. It looked like it was about seven shrimp in there, one crab, one crab cluster. It was not a lot of. It was not a lot of. And then shit down there, fifty thousand dollars in the table. <laughs> You still be wanting more by the time you finish. We done dipped it in the butter four or five times. Then your blood pressure go up to the ceiling. <laughs> your blood pressure be high. Cause you, you done put all that damn see that be love sauce on that shit. And your blood pressure be you be sitting over there doing like looking, looking crazy at the motherfucker like this. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody said no juice in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, nah, they be filled with juice. They be trying oh. to fool you. The oh, juicy, be, juicy crab do that shit. The shit, the fit, shit be, the shit be swimming in juice. You, you got your head reaching your head. It be more sausage in there than anything. I'm not even gonna lie. I finished the whole bag before, and then I'll start getting my finger, and I'll start licking that juice. Cause that juice, that juice, the juice be, be all right. Be good. But bitch, your stomach limitation so that juice. Your ad, your guts is done. Oh yeah, you you bitch, you want a diuretic? Go down there to the juicy <laughs> crab. <laughs> That's gonna run right on through your ass. Man, I was in the juicy crab one time eating juicy crab. I said, wait a minute, hold on. Me and Chi looked at each other and said, hold up, girl, who going first? Me? She said, bitch, go. Because I'm coming right behind you. Because we didn't want to get up at the same time like we didn't want to pay for the shit. Oh. But that shit hit our guts in a second. I said, oh, shit. Oh, I got to get the fuck out of here. And you ain't using the bathroom in no public place. Who not? Bitch, I will hover. Oh, no, I will. Mo, I'm sorry. I used to feel like that. I'm a hover girl now. Nah, man, if, 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 it, if it gets that desperate, man, fuck that. I'm a hover. <laughs> oh no, nah, if it gets that desperate, I'll get a whole bunch of tissue, surround the surround the toilet seat, and then put a whole bunch of tissue inside the to- uh, inside Whoa, the toilet seat. That's, see, you the ones be doing that shit. I do do that shit. That's I ain't gonna lie. You go in those nasty ass bathrooms, and that goddamn toilet won't go down. Oh no, I, no, it I'm always like, go down without you. I'm like, who in the hell? Was in this public bathroom, put all this damn toilet paper here. Because I'm not going to have Because if that thing splashed, I do not want that thing touch, yeah, splashing on me. Go home. Go home. Yeah, I don't want that shit please, splashing please. on me. If it bubble, go home. <laughs> Hell no. Go home. Who wants toilet? Who wants public toilet water splashing on them? Man, go home with that. Because if that thing, Hell no. you might as well just give me a whole new pair of ass man, cheeks if that, that thing touch me. Man, listen, that shit disgusting. <laughs> go in that shit. And see, the, how many times we done been on a road trip? You done walk to the bed, they're like, damn, who did this shit? That's happened. That's happened. Who did this? That's happened. Which one of your niggas did this shit? How? Oh! You be about to throw up? <laughs> You're like, oh, not today. Which one of your niggas? You be able to say, which one of your niggas did this shit? <laughs> Because I don't know how people can hover over something and use the toilet. I can't do that. Mo, baby. I, can't do, I cannot hover over I, I ain't sitting my. I'm not sitting my ass down on it. Nah. I'm going to hover. And see, I got a lot of ass, so I'm going to take both cheeks and spray <laughs> that bit and go and hit it. Wipe and hit it, honey. <laughs> Somebody say, I boo-boo anywhere. No, <laughs> I ain't boo-boo with every, anywhere. <laughs> I ain't boo with every. Have you seen some toilets, Maddie? Mo, what? Listen, have you seen some of the toilets? Some of the public let me tell toilets. You something. Let me tell you some real shit. I used to walk the beat, baby. If if you get the bubbling and gubbling, 
I'm going out there and hit that bush. That's what I'd rather hit the bush than hit one of the bathrooms. <laughs> I'd rather hit the bush than hit one of the bathrooms. Man, man. I remember one time my stomach was so tough. I was driving home from Florida. And I, <laughs> you pulled over. I that? pulled over. <laughs> Baby, I tow that rail up. You hear me? You the rail? The rail. And I pulled over. It was black dog. I pulled over. I tow that rail up, and I saw. And the police was pulled you up. Even say the, you even didn't say the grass. Man, the rail. Or the tree. You said the rail. Really? Man, I tow that rail up. Damn, I stubborn. I don't know what I fucking had. Hey, McDonald's. <laughs> you see, eat one of those humans. McDonald's. Bitch, I tow that motherfucking rail up. <laughs> Oh, Do you God. hear me? Baby, I had lead to the, the, that's why I keep more you no, you know you don't roll the car. I keep a hole, I keep toilet tissue, <laughs> I, keep, I keep all that shit in the car. Baby, when I did I been, I got I pulled that bitch over. I was I was right, I pulled that bitch over, bro. I jumped out that motherfucker. I had to pull out. <laughs> Baby, that whole, I cannot stand and take no man, shit. Man, that whole side of that silver rail. Oh my god, man. <laughs> I, when I drive home sometimes, I ride past that place and be like, boy, I think this is spot right here. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted that shit ever really wash off like he was supposed to. <laughs> Bitch! Oh, my goodness. Oh! So you didn't even go inside the bushes. You just did it right there on the rail. rail. You done drove to Florida. You know how you ride and ride and ride, and it's a damn rail on the, side, rail on the side. I couldn't even pull up over here. It was cop- <laughs> I said, I'm driving. Now, if somebody would have put would been driving, and I'd have got out on that side. Yeah, I'd have oh, went. Oh, so you on the other side. I was driving. <laughs> I wasn't finna go way around there and do that shit. Man, I got <laughs> ain't gonna say. The police was pulling up on me. Remember, you all right? I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. Don't come over here. Don't come over here. I'm okay. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Audrey say I'm on the toilet right now. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I like being at home, especially when I be drinking my teas or when I uh or when I know I'm gonna be going to the toilet. I don't like to go out in public. No, because I don't trust public bathroom. You come up, then you got you got bumps all over your booty because you sat on a public toilet. No, I can't do it. Or you got eczema on your your ass yeah. cheeks. Get somebody else to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. What's next, Mo? Oh. Well, uh, we have a uh, little cheat sheet in the... Uh... What happened? Arrested in Bali for premarital, premarital sex. sex. Yep. Yep. Give me the story behind it. They were shooting right. a video, a music video. Yeah, they were shooting a music video. And so basically, uh, who is Lil Chi Chi? What they saying, girl? It be so many people. <laughs> okay, so hold on, hold on. Let me get the story real, real quick. Okay, so basically, it says it revealed he and his girlfriend were arrested in Bali, Indonesia, for shooting this music video for shooting a music video in November 2022. Uh, a law in, was enacted in Bali prohibiting premarital sex, including staying in the same room while staying in Bali. And that's true. There are countries over there where if you're not married, you cannot live together or you, and you can't have Everybody sex. Everybody want to go do all that exotic shit and they read none of the fine print. <laughs> Everybody want to do... Listen, I go with a tourist set. <laughs> Fuck that shit. When Legra book my stuff, Legra books Legra Legra does all that. She finds out if they, if they got if they let fags there. Do they like fags over there? Have they shot a fag recently? <laughs> Whatever. She goes and do all that research before I even get into that shit. Oh my! Fuck God. that. Yeah, y'all better stop going to all these countries. Why the hell you think I don't want to go over there to no Dubai? <laughs> right. I know those girls go over there to that Dubai selling ass dick balls, pussy, and everything else over in that fucking place. But when them people catch you, that's going to be your funeral song, bitch. They're going to cane your ass outside. I, you know what came on in the middle of the night the other night? What? Broken Down Palace. I told y'all this story. 
I told y'all about that movie, Broken Down Palace. What happened? When them bitches went over there to damn Thailand. And, oh, yeah. And they got the cl- white girls. Yep, yep. Those that was a true, true story. Yeah. I, I'm telling you, I don't fuck off with stuff like that. I don't fuck off. I don't, and I ain't even going back to Mexico no more. But I used to go to Mexico. You know what I'm saying? And I used to go all, I don't fuck off. I don't want to go to, if them places, I know for a fact, do the things. I'm not real. And I know I'm a real bitch in the face. I ain't fucking off with that kind of stuff. Nothing. Well, uh, you know, Maddie, well, while we even on Mexico. What happened? Oh, Mexico's president says his country is safer than the U.S. <laughs> following kidnapping and murder of American citizens. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, if it's, what, where's the Shinquella Robinson case? Right, they forgot all about that case. They did. They when, forgot when, all about when, that when, case. What y'all doing about the Shinquella Robinson case, girl? Since y'all so safe. <laughs> True. What is y'all gonna do about the Medellin cartel over there, bitch? <laughs> Those niggas that run the country, the real niggas that run the country. <laughs> yeah, America do have events all the time, but we don't. But don't nobody come vacation in America. <laughs> we live in America. We vacation in Mexico. True. Yeah, I'll go to uh, I'll go to Mexico and get some Gavi Gavi de Onoa. Gavi de... I don't know what that Onoa. is. Gavi de Onoa. I don't know what that is, babe. I don't know what that is either. They said the Medellin cartel is the one that told him to say it. They run that <laughs> shit over there. Man, I've been scared of motherfucking Mexico since dust to dawn. I ain't even gonna tell you. Oh, really? Night. It's a dark night. How about once upon a time in Mexico? No, dust to dawn. With the vampires? Yes. When I seen them that do it out, because I used to want to be out. You know, I'm I'm the type of bitch that explore. When I go and play more, well, you know, I like to explore. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to know where the men at. You know what I'm saying? Where's the men? Bitch, when I took me down there, sucked me, honey. And I ain't want to, and I can't come back up. <laughs> yeah. I seen that shit, and the, 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 the dust are done, and when they when the camera panned out, uh-huh. And you saw that damn pyramid back there. <laughs> <laughs> and all them cars and trucks that had been dropped off in the back all them years and shit. Man, that shit fucked me up. Salma Hayek was fuck- Yeah, she was. It was just a pandemonium. What was her name? Pandemonium something. Man, that shit scared me. I went uh-huh. when I was like, hell no. That shit and the and, and, and the other shit that fucked me up was uh The ruins, when them flowers and shit, when them plants and shit was growing out that pyramid, that pyramid, that area was cursed. The ruins, you remember the ruins? I'm trying to remember. And if they fell into them bushes, they was done. I don't think I saw that. Man, that shit was crazy, the damn ruin. Me and Miss Eve went into the movies to see the ruins. Oh, really? Hell yeah, when that shit first came out, Santanica Pandemonium. That's right, Luan. The damn ruins and the, 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 the plants and shit was, the plant was, man, that shit was crazy, the ruins. Let me see. If well, I there can... was one that you also put me on, the uh, the one about the one that, uh, the, the possessed one. In Mexico? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The one that she got possessed uh-huh. and then they had to. Uh... And we sat and watched that. Yeah. Yeah, in Mexico. The, yeah, the flowers, the, the, the flowers mocking the phone ring and that bitch was let me show you. Oh, for damn. Man, that shit fucked me up. I was like, man, I murdered me and murdered me and Miss Eva look at each other like, girl, we ain't going, we, 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 we ain't going on land. <laughs> we ain't doing all that hiking and shit, girl. Girl, stay close. <laughs> <laughs> the ruins. Man, I don't remember watching the ruins. Well, you don't watch. Do you watch anything? I, tonight I'm going to see um uh Shazam. Oh, you are? Uh-huh. At 6 30. You didn't know? Uh-uh. I didn't tell you. Uh-uh. 
You didn't want to go. Because you know, getting me off has been hard. Whether it's for EB. Because you know, I'm, I'm working, baddie. Yeah. I'm always working. <laughs> oh! Oh, Mo, this vicious. You don't want none of this. See how she fell all in there? Yeah. The Mexicans was like, bitch, get out there. You there? You in there? You in there? You there now, nigga? She done fell all in that. So are they saying that you can't come back this way? Oh, no. Once he fell, they was telling him at first. They was out there exploring, so they was telling him at first, Mo, come from over there. Like, like come. When that bitch stepped back in them bushes like that, uh -huh. they went, they could, that was it. Oh, they could have come back. No. When that bitch stepped, when that bitch, the, the man was telling the spinner, they was like, ah, what are you doing that? When that bitch stepped in the bushes, he called all them niggas. No, nah, they can't leave here now. Because it's spread. It's alive. It grow in you. It get in you. It's alive. That's why he killed that boy. Because he had already touched. They him. touched. And if it touched them, and then you touch it, and it's a touch. It's you. It's done. The little kid. The little kid went over there. And was like ah. They had to kill the little kid. He was like, bitch, you ain't bringing that shit back over here. Oh shit. Oh, you oh, you watch got the that. waste called the ruins. Oh, I'ma watch that. Man, that shit was crazy. Me and Miss E was sitting there like, what the fuck? And then the, the plant was. Acting like the cell phone was ringing. They kept trying to say, we got service down here. It's service in the, we hear the cell phone ringing. When the bitch got down there in the hole, it was the plant thing. Acting like it was the cell phone. Oh, shit. shit. Damn, I never, oh, shit. I don't think, I've never heard of that movie, The Ruins. Y'all keep asking me, am I going to talk about Escape and the, the sister stealing the money? I ain't watched it yet. I don't want to talk about something that I ain't watched yet. Right. I I don't I ain't watched it yet. Oh, 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 oh. you think I want them singing that about funeral over there? <laughs> That's why I ain't going to none of that shit. I go to I love going to foreign countries, but I stay on the resort. I stay in areas. If you don't know people in the country, I stay in areas. Now, when I go to Nigeria, I'm going all around. With, I'm going. I'm no, going. don't go everywhere, Batty. Don't go everywhere, cause they, like I said, when these niggas sell you, there's nothing that you. First of all, any nigga sell me, go sell me back. <laughs> I'm sick of this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing gonna say. I'm so sick of this bitch and whatever name language. Give I'm me my sick receipt. Of this. Give my receipt back. I need a give refund. Me, bitch, give me back my money for this bitch. <laughs> this bitch ain't fucking none. She's sucking none. This bitch got her nose turned up over here. I did. <laughs> Hell no. Bitch, don't you sit up here and act like that when I watched all your dirty movies in America. <laughs> and not only that, you know how much I paid for you? Bitch, I don't, but I don't listen, go over there and get your rubles back, nigga. <laughs> I don't fuck for rubles. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch don't cook. This hoe don't want to clean up nothing. This bitch lazy. This bitch sleep. This she bitch asking me to do the work. This bitch asking for her phone <laughs> so she can go live. This hoe screaming about where's the Wi-Fi? <laughs> Hell no. Somebody so find this bitch. So and she don't swallow. <laughs> this is right. <laughs> Correct. And this bitch ain't swallowing that. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> I need my buddy back. Bitch, bitch. I need my buddy back. I, you better tell him to get back. 
Because I ain't doing none of that shit. And if any one of you niggas hit me. <laughs> I came over here free and clear of my own recalling. You stole me. You ain't had to steal me. All you had to do was take me around there, give me a couple dollars, and I did this stuff. But bitch, you stole me and sold me. I ain't doing a motherfucking thing. Really? Hell no. <laughs> Shit. And then they would be like, eh? I thought we'd give you a place to stay. Bitch, I this don't is what you stay. want to do to me. Bitch, I don't want to stay here. Ah, this woman, she's she's mad. I don't want to excuse get me. She... Where's my money? Hell yeah, she's Bring back my money. Hell yeah. Bring get back this my money. Back his this one, she's mad though. Get this nigga this one his is crazy. Back. Somebody I bet. Give come my get money. this nigga, get this nigga his rubles back. <laughs> and tell him that he need to steal one of them other American bitches. <laughs> because I came over here to give myself away. <laughs> you didn't have to steal me. <laughs> 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 Shit! <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. Well, you know, yesterday we were Speaking talking. Speaking of stealing, oh. go down here. Which one? Where? 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 Go down to the video. Oh, okay. Yeah. I watched this video, right? And I watched this video, and I felt some kind of way when I watched this. Play the video. Man, you fall black like niggas some hoes. All of it, nigga. All of it, nigga. Crip, hit me up, nigga. Yo, nigga. You a hoe, nigga. That's all I got. Yo, you a pussy ass nigga. Yo, nigga. And this murder game tapping in, nigga. And Ted Twins. What's the other part? That's all I got. Bitch ass nigga. Hey, lift your jacket up real quick. Can you lift your shit up before I switch to you right now? Hey, lift your jacket up. Hey, lift your jacket up, nigga. Yo, lift that shit up, bitch ass nigga. Y'all niggas some broke ass nigga. I'm gonna kill you next oh, well, time I see you. Old Don't let me catch you no more. Oh, All that bumping on the ass. Hey, come here. Come here. Give me a cigarette. In the water. In the water. In the water. Give me the water. Y'all niggas some hoes, man. Let me just go in the bush and weep. Let me just go in the bush and weep. I just have. That was, that was so disappointed to see. First of all, them little boys out there selling their water. Right. Selling their water. That was so tired. Right. And then they had the nerve to post to post that shit. To post it. Like they doing something cool. I'm gonna tell you some. That's why I don't cry every, every that's why I don't cry every shooting and murder. Same here. I can't even front. I, I'm not even finna say I'm gonna say some insensitive shit right now. That's why I don't cry at every shooting and murder. He was a good nigga. He was a good nigga. <laughs> he wasn't doing nothing but mad in his business. He wasn't doing nothing. Just like I watched that video of the motherfuckers killed the, the remember that. Video where they the boy was breaking into the into the house and oh, the, yeah. and the owner killed them when he him, came yeah. in and the sister that was out there mad and talking about he he went d- d- bitch out you ain't had he, he you shouldn't have killed him and he broke in there with a gun right the fuck that's that's people I, that's why I, that's why I tell say it all the time sense is a comment sense is not coming you break into somebody's house. And then they kill you, but then it's the person that you broke into their house fault. That doesn't make. That's sad. These dudes, and they just, and look at the money that they took. They took coins, Maddie. Yeah. They robbed them for coins. Maddie. Coins. Them kids out there trying to hug. Ain't doing what they doing. Ain't stealing. I ain't stealing. Yes. They saying play it again, Mo. Okay. 
Man, you four black niggas some hoes. All of it, nigga. All of it, nigga. Crip, hurry up, nigga. That's all yeah, I like. nigga. You a hoe, nigga. That's all I got. Yeah, the part too. Nigga. You a pussy ass nigga. Yeah, nigga. And this murder game tapping in, nigga. And Ted Twins What's and my sister. Fuck That's all I got. Bitch ass nigga. Hey, lift your jacket up real quick. Can you lift your shit up before I switch to you right now? Hey, lift your jacket up. Hey, lift your jacket up, nigga. Yeah, lift that shit up, bitch ass nigga. Y'all niggas some broke ass nigga. I'm a kid, man. Oh, well, I man. see you. Let me catch you one more. All that bumping on the ass. Hey, come here. Come here. Give me a cigarette. In the water. In the water. In the water. Give me the water. Y'all niggas some hoes. Let me just go. And all he and all that boy could do is just smile. And then threaten him to kill him the next time he saw see him. We be our own problem. And I that, say this all the time. Nobody don't be want to hear you. And that's what I was talking about. How do they expect? How how do we expect people to accept others when we doing shit like this to people that are and so, look like us? Right. We do this to people that look like us, and then we expect other people. We expect those same people to accept others that are different. Anyway, just know this: everybody working get paid. I want you to know that everybody that works get paid. That's true. Everybody. That's true. Ain't no, there's no, and ain't no set time on your payday. Everybody working get paid. Get paid. That's it. So you just keep motherfucking working. We used to sing a song, put your time in. Payday's coming after a while. Put your time in. Payday's coming. Put your time in. Payday's coming after a while. Bitch, put your time in. That is you, so tired. You will. And then, when, and then these are the same dudes that do shit like that. And then when something bad happens to them, people are like, oh, R.I.P., this, this, that. Nah, they got they got what they deserve. They got what they deserve. Oops, somebody say I'm more scared of black people than I am of other races. Whoop. Mm -hmm. Don't get me to talking. <laughs> Don't get me to talking. Put your time in. Don't get me to talking. Anyway. Don't worry, y'all. Payday coming. <laughs> Payday coming. They put in overtime on that. Oh, yes, they did. Mm -hmm. Yes, they did. And when you see them niggas in the street and they get shot down and killed by the police. You don't feel sorry for it. You don't know me. Bitch, that's me. I don't rush down to every protest. The fuck? Anyway, let me not say that before some shit gets started, but whatever. <laughs> Go ahead, Mo. <laughs> Well, uh, we have something where mm -mm. I need to know about this sex stuff. The sex stuff, because I want I got a question. Where is the drag queen? Oh, oh, you're talking about this where is stuff. the drag queen? Well, should I should we talk Let's about go right in a row? Where is the okay. drag queen? So first we have this. TikTok famous dad who pretended to be a has a Hasidic Jew charged with molesting adopted sons. Where are the drag queens? Where are the drag queens? Come on, Mo. What's the next one? A paramedic admits to raping a 51 year old woman he found intoxicated sleeping in her car. Where are the drag queens? Is it any more? Uh, yeah, there it go right there. This one? Mm hmm. Massachusetts residents died arrested for allegedly child porn stash, including video of young patient. Where are the drag queens? Wait, wait, wait. Time out. Can we go back to that one? Yes, we can. Mass Massachusetts resident daughter arrested for alleged child porn stash, including video of young patient. Where are the drag queen? So not are, not only are you do you have child pornography, you do you with your have, patients. Yes, you have videos of your patients. Where are the drag queen? Dear Lord, dear Lord. Where are the drag queen? So it said off with his head. Where are the drag queen? Anytime you see all of that, where are the drag queens? Where are the drag 
drag queens? I want to know where they at. Where are the drag queens? Where they at? You taking so much time spending on somebody that ain't even fucking with you. Where are the drag queens? Where are the drag queens? You know what? This is what I, Madison. Honestly, I think people that are that are sex offenders, castration. Baby, you already know how I feel about them sex offenders. I already told you, castration. especially about them kiddie ones. Exactly, especially those. You know what I told you? I said off this with the I penis. Fuck off with the penis. Yeah, I, I told you the other day. They need to go at all of them. Every they, since it was two seventy five, the other two seventy one. And then put these four in there. <laughs> they all got to play Coca Melon <laughs> all day. Coca Melon! Coca Melon! They go down there and they get a kid to do drive through the drive through. Hi, can I have a kitty meal? And the kitty meal <laughs> gets put that one that feed all 200 to center. It's a four piece chicken nugget. <laughs> <laughs> and they got to share it. And they all got to share it. <laughs> They get one sink, no tub. How about a how about a toilet? One toilet. They flush twice a week. <laughs> Why twice a week? They already got one toilet, Maddie. Twice a week. It only flushes twice a week. <laughs> really? Monday and Friday. <laughs> so they're gonna have shit in their toilet from Tuesday to Thursday. Where are the drag queens? <laughs> Oh my goodness. So it said twice a year. <laughs> so it said they should make it twice a year. D.D. Simmons said the drag queens is drinking water, man, and they be as... <laughs> Where are the drag queens? But this is not what they putting on legislation up there talking about protecting. This, 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 this is what it, this is what the kids really need protecting it. And then you then you wonder why kids growing up. Mo, we did seven stories the other day. Yeah. Four today. And then a story of niggas fucking with kids. So, and one of them, and for all the stories we've done recently, one of them is black. The rest of them, no words need to be. Right. Black. And the other ones, it's like them niggas fucking with them kids out there selling water. Where are the drag queens? Bring back my girls. <laughs> <laughs> Bring back my girls. <laughs> see it like wait, uh see it like it sub to it said uh don't castrate them. They they did that before they started. Graping kids with broomsticks and other ooh, okay, okay. There are a lot of sick people in this world, though. They might be sick, but I want to know where are the drag queens? I don't know. You got to ask legislation that question. Until we can figure out where are the drag queens. You gotta ask. You gotta ask the Senate or, or or legislation that question. Bring back my girl. <laughs> anyway, what else we got, Mom? Uh, next we also have, I believe, this one. Oh, there's another one. Uh, again, this is going on in school. They don't want the drag queens down there reading no book. Right. But they got the high school under fire after requiring students to write a sexual fantasy story. Teacher says this story is a sexual fantasy that will have no penetration. Where are the drag queens? <laughs> Bring back my girls! <laughs> so it said earth, earth, air, air, fire, fire. 
Mo, oh, bring back my girls. <laughs> bring back my girls. <laughs> Bring back my girls. That's crazy. So the question is to be asked, is it really about the children? It's not. Oh, I know. It's not about the children. I know. It's not. It's not about the children. But that's what people out there need to ask themselves. What it's about is people who have decided... Who have decided that they're going to force the way they feel and the way that they believe. And, and here's the thing when they're always talking about a motherfucking agenda, right? Here's the here's my here's my issue with the word agenda. We're gonna talk about how you talk about an agenda when you sit up there and you force people to adhere to what you believe is the right way. You want to force people to be straight. Force. You want to force that. You want to force believe, people to believe in what you believe. You want to force people to adhere to the way that you want them to do what you want them to, want them to do. And so what you do, because, you know, you feel like, you feel like that that this is the way things should be. You go and you 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 work on legislature. You work on laws to, to to get people to do what you want them to do, what you want them to do. Your agenda is to force people into the way that you want them to live. Where are the drag queens? <laughs> they said national campaign t shirts. Where are the drag queens? <laughs> I need to start it, huh? Yeah. I need to get them and say, bring back my girls. <laughs> yeah, on the back, you should say, bring, bring back, back my, my girls. girls. Yep. Where are the drag queens? <laughs> That's actually a good idea. Hold on. Somebody said they sent something to my. Correct. Kyle Palmer said they forced heterosexuality. Correct. Right, E. Linden. Kevin Thompson says, see, it have me questioning. You don't see the comments coming from this account or app. That's crazy. Wow. All right, Mo. So next we're going to be going to. What is it? What is it? Oh, um, girl. Woman, see, woman, woman says the eight years see, after beating her own face with hammer and blaming all Asian grooming. grooming you game. see? You see? You see, you see, you see, you see what I'm saying? Mo, you see? I see. Do you see the lies? Yeah. yeah. Do you see the lies? Now you lie, you lie, I've never been so thin. Yeah. Mo, go back. Okay. Woman sentenced to eight years after beating her own face with a hammer and blaming it on an Asian grooming gang. 
still doing this shit after all these years. It was a nigga. Somebody tell me what the lady said in Rosewood. <laughs> What y'all got? Somebody tell me what the lady said in Rosewood. They said, oh, y'all the best. What did the lady say in Rosewood, Florida? Huh? Somebody tell me what the lady said in Rosewood. I'll tell you what she said. Because <laughs> I'm waiting for it. <laughs> you waiting for it? I'm waiting for it. Oh, no. oh, oh, here it is, right here. Is this it? Mm-hmm. It was a nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna let you hear it with your own ears. Dear Lord, still doing this shit. I thought any bitch that do. I really believe, and I feel any bitch that accuse a motherfucker of something that they didn't do, bitch, they need to get the gear your team. You mean off with the head? Gear your team. Off with the head? Yes. <laughs> hey. So you think so you think that they being too light on her with the eight years? Then? Yeah. Fanny's outcry. Call that bitch Fanny. <laughs> Bitches been doing this shit since before. It was a nigga. That should be sad. That man went in there, fucked her in her ass and her pussy, beat her up, and 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 on uh in Florida was damn, damn, damn was in there cleaning that shit up <laughs> off the floor, and she ran outside. Mo, you seen this? No, I didn't see. I was here. No, that no, bitch ran out the door. She said it was a nick. She had to build her tears up. And she said, ah, watch it. She built her tears up. She built up her tears. I'm about to go upstairs and watch that. It was a nigga. Like, girl, what is going on? <laughs> she said, nigga. Oh, 
way. Oh, jeez, Ellison, I sure want to rank. I just got feet. I was feet badly, badly. He was so big. He's so black, that boy. She said she was free. No, she didn't just say oh, he's so black. Everybody, go on out of here. Go on. You heard it. Go on. Go on. <laughs> He was so big and so black. It wasn't. It wasn't her husband that did it. It was a nigga she was fucking. It was a white man she was fucking. It was her white man, her white man lover. He went there, fucked her, and beat her up. And so then she said, you know, I'm going to blame this on the nigga. It, and, and it was a nigga. That happened in Florida, Rosewood. That's crazy. And that black woman, the black the black maid was just She turned around her. like, girl, like, what is bitch? Like, girl, you giving all this? <laughs> uh, you know, that happened for real. Oh yeah. Well, it's, you know, it's happened plenty of times. It's happened too, plenty of times. But, but that story, yes, is yeah. Rosewood was a place in Florida. It was a, that bitch pulled that stunt with that hammer in her face. That's why they locked her ass up for eight years. But bitch, do you know what would have happened? If they found them Asians. And 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 if, and if and if it, and if, do you know she could have did she do she do that? And if that was a black person. If it was a black person, it would have been over. It would have been over. Well, you got to be a special kind of uh, person to hit yourself in the eye. You say I don't watch movies like that anymore? I do. (laughs) It keeps me a complete reminder. Of how when a motherfucker be standing over there telling lies... This shit still go on. Till today, yeah. Till today. Did you, Maddie, I I, I think, did we talk about it? Uh, that the woman that wanted to make her ex-boyfriend jealous, so she started going around to the police talking about, uh, about a, telling the police that numerous men raped her. She, she, she went around talking about numerous men uh, assaulted her and then they ended up arresting like i think about like five or six men because of the lie and then when they found out she lied she ended up saying she did it because she wanted to make her ex-boyfriend jealous right people lie and people do shit like that without knowing without understanding the dangers and i don't want to go deep into this shit but i'll just touch great you still graze it Motherfuckers be like, why you don't, why y'all, why people don't let bygones and shit be bygones? Nah, bitch. You bitches lied severely. Severe lies. That's where the word, well, that's where the name Karen came from. Oh, no, bitches do that shit. People (laughs) do that shit. I hate when people just sit up and lie on people, just lie. And they want it, and it sounds like the truth, but they sit up there and lie, and they already lie, and they they fear monger, and they they add, they add to it. They they already get a bandwagon of motherfuckers that feel some type of way about shit. Them people in that town, I, I can't. Let me. I just gotta go. Just know that it was a nigga, <laughs> but it wasn't. <laughs> it was a nigga. But it, it was wasn't. a white nigga. Right. What else you got, Mo? Uh, oh, well, uh, schools are going to start having a, a safe room. Play, praise the Lord. So Alabama Elementary School debuts first bulletproof safe room. And basically, that's how it looks. <laughs> Again, where are the drag queens? <laughs> really? You got to do this stuff in elementary schools because the gun violence is so vicious and the first people to get killed is the children. Yep. 
That's true. But you taking your time out. You taking out your time of your busy schedule to fuck with the drag queens. Where are the drag queens? That's true. I haven't heard anything about how to stop the gun violences that are going on in schools. Where are the drag queens? At all. At all. Like that. But you damn sure I heard about two punks being together. You damn sure done heard about the the, 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 the the bathroom issues and trans. You done heard everything about trans and everything about the punks and everything about the dragons. You done heard all this stuff all year, but you ain't heard no solving of that. So again, I ask you, where are the drag queens? True. You're not concerned about the children. It's your agenda that is your agenda to eradicate people that ain't doing shit to you because you don't like something. That's true. Bulletproof, nothing to lose. Fire away, fire away. Because there's no reason why. It should, it should be this bad where now schools have to have a bulletproof uh, shelter or whatever inside the classroom. It should have never gotten that bad. But they don't want to talk about that much. They don't want to, they don't want to point out that. You should be down, but I'm over. I am titanium. <laughs> Wrong time. <laughs> Fire away, fire away. <laughs> Where are the drag queens? Let's talk about the drag queens. All righty. Lil Nas X. Oh, hold on, hold on here a bit. Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X apologizes to the trans community for insensitive joke of him transitioning. So apparently this girl... Is what? That's not Montero. That's Montiqua. Um, the surgery was a success. Uh, then it says, let me see what else. Um, and then, well, people started commenting. Baby, this apology ain't it. You need to apologize to the trans community in material ways that include money, sharing your platform to raise awareness, and and just keeping it. This is a fake ass, fake as hell. Then, <laughs> he said, "Girl, eat my ass." Yeah. Oh my God. And then we also have some more. It says, Yeah, you definitely handled that better, bro. You definitely could have handled that better, bro. And then this is what he this is what little how this is put. <laughs> and then uh surgery was success. That ain't Panani. That's not Panani. That's that's not Panini. That's oh, Panini. Panini. That's Punani. And then that those are all of the uh comments. But yeah. All right. I'm in two places with this. Okay. I'm in two places with this. Um, two deep places. Okay. One, um, I don't know. Was he? I don't think he was really making fun of the girls. I just think that that's what he, because he's always up in a, he's always up in some type of drag and some type of something. He be, he's, he be, I don't know. So, he, you know, he make try, he basically he makes himself, uh, what's the word? Uh, he keeps his, try to keep himself relevant, basically. He keeps himself relevant. The stuff. I didn't think he was malicious. I don't think he was I'm, trying I'm to be in malicious. two places with this. One, because he is a gay man. Okay. That he needs to understand, like, you a gay man. And you being a gay man, we the trans girls done went hard for you, bitch. Like, rock them, sock them hard for you. Like, I'm, And I'm most definitely one of them motherfucking hoes that done went hard. Because I see it in a space of we all in, the, we all in, a, in, a, in a thing. But when it comes to gay men and trans women, there is a disconnect at times. One, I think the disconnect comes from 
I want to make sure I'm saying this correctly, from the heteronormative ideology that's been passed down to us as LBGTQIA people. And, you know, gay men still have, has, he has passing power. He has, he still has passing power as a gay man. So I don't think a lot of gay men understand the sensitivity when it comes down to, you know, issues with trans women, especially black gay men and black trans women. I don't think that they really get it because, you know, they, they are a lot of them at times, not all the time, but a lot of them at times, you know, are a part of the transphobic rhetoric that goes on. Like they, they will assist in he and you, him and do mister i don't understand it you know what i'm saying if it, it why would you want to be a woman you a whole man and you know doing that you know what i'm saying and it's, it's, you know so i'm in two places with this two places i don't think that he meant it as a jab at trans women i don't think that he meant it as a jab to trans women but I also don't think that he understand the sensitivity around black trans women in this in in this in the serious state of what's going on right now because they don't care because 99.9% of the time it don't affect black gay passing men. But do you think he was trying to be hard? I'm in two places. Oh, that's why you were in two places about it. I don't know if he was, I don't really feel that he was being malicious, Malicious, but I also don't feel like that he, uh, he really cares about the sensitivity of w what goes on with the black trans girls okay, okay. In, in this, in the state that we're in right now. So I'm in two places with it. Okay. Okay. Got you. Punk, stay out of that shit. Hear me? This me, punk. <laughs> stay out of that, bitch. <laughs> Punk ass punk, stay out of it. <laughs> if you ain't gonna motherfucking be windmilling with us, stay the fuck out of it. Because we damn show windmill for your motherfucking ass. So punk, stay out of goddamn punk, stay out of transsexual business, bitch. On one hand, okay. On the second hand, I'm like, he just was trolling because that's what he do. He trolls everything. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. He trolls everything. But Punk, if you ain't with us, get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> Puff, we gonna get on that. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Again, black ass punk faggot, stay your mother. If you, you since you a fag and you stay your faggot ass over there. <laughs> If you ain't windmilling with us, bitch, you bitch, stay your punk faggot ass over there. Black ass punk. <laughs> Cause when the girls was eating you up, big, the girls was everywhere, lining up, fighting for your motherfucking ass. Punk. That's on one hand. <laughs> but then on the other hand is, he he's trolling. He that's what he does. He 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 trolls. You know what I'm saying. So here I'm in a I'm in a I'm in a I'm in like a, I'm in a conflicted space. Like a limbo. Of I'm in a limbo with it because I I do feel that he that he that that he trolls and stuff like that. But don't troll in our and don't use us as part of the trolling bullshit, nigga. Because we already already. Margin, way marginalized, bitch, disenfranchised, stomped on, walked over, not giving a fuck about, and we don't need no punk adding to that shit. <laughs> not no punk that we fight for. Nah. Yeah, when you put it like that, because I didn't, because when I saw it, I didn't think it was, I didn't think he was trying to be mean about it. I think he was just trying to, like you said, troll. Troll. You know, keep his name relevant. Right. But when you, you know, when you look at the other side of it, then you could see, okay. So, I mean, did somebody said a conundrum. Yeah. 
So I'm in a mix with that. So that's that's the way I that's how I I feel about it though. You know, now that you know, now that the girls done ate you up and then what you call it, do better, do better, girl. <laughs> like I said on Drag Race, uh uh-uh, uh, do better, girl. <laughs> Do better, girl. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry, bitch. Be careful. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Because, you know, at the end of the motherfucking day, bitches done set out on the Breakfast Club windmilling for you. Bitches done been all on the motherfucking thing trending windmilling for you. It's- bitches, because of, because we understand, we we you, we know to protect you, bitch. Do the same for us, ho. Especially when, uh, what's his name was coming after you? Do the same for us. With uh, Bootsy. We ain't no joking matter, bitch. But I also understand that you are a troll. Right. So, yeah, but, you know. But you know you are an example. You should you should understand that you are an example that you that people follow the lead in that. And there are a lot of gay men. Oh, thank you, DW. There are a lot of black. I hold my black gay men accountable for sitting up with the bullshit with motherfuckers. Cause we know that we gotta protect y'all bitch ass niggas. We know this. <laughs> Why so aggressive? <laughs> I don't know how to be nothing else. We know we got to protect y'all bitch ass niggas because y'all out of the y'all out black men too. The mm. fuck? We know this. We know we going to be on the front line fighting windmill and elbowing bitch kickboxing for your bitch ass because we did this for you, punk. So have a little decency and a little consideration, you, a consideration that bitch, we got your back, bitch. Don't turn a motherfucker around and give it like that, girl. Because the same words I had for Boosty remain. But that, I can be on your ass too, bitch. But again, on the other side, I know that you're a troll. So that's where I'm at with it. Do better, girl. Do better. Basically, even if he wants to troll, he needs to be considerate, basically. You could troll, you could do whatever you want to, but be considerate about your feelings about this. That's right. Somebody said, this is it right here. That's right. Right. Learn how to read the room, daughter. <laughs> do better, girl. Do better. Because these same, these hands that Boosie got, bitch, for your ass, you could get them on your ass too, bitch. <laughs> and we still could protect your bitch ass. So it said he's 23. Give a fuck. Do better. He apologized, though. Yeah, he is fine. It's fuck. Shit, get, get these titties on his back. <laughs> <laughs> but he'll get this thrashing first. <laughs> Who's asshole? Did you what the fuck you want to play at a play around in the motherfucking playground like that for on the girls, bitch? Like no, like the girls went out there in this fucking street windmilling for your bitch ass. Ho, when you had that fake ass pregnant stomach out there, bitch, and when that motherfucking goddamn closeted punk was over there reading you for filth and, and, and doing a whole campaign for you, like we wasn't the first bitches on the front line of scrimmage for your bitch nigga ass, ho. How in the fuck you gonna turn around and be do some pussy pussy clock shit like that? Yes, I would give it to him just like that in his face. T.S. would. <laughs> the rest of the girls, they're going to sit him down and they're going to educate him. <laughs> but T.S. going to fire him up like that. And then tell him, daughter, I understand that you a troll, but bitch, read the room, girl. The fuck? Don't you see we already got motherfucking enough problems as it is, bitch asshole? And you want to get out here and play, play and drag, bitch, and do, and, and be, you know, bitch, you, bitch, understand. No, nope, you was being checked by the girls. We're checking you, bitch. And the girls was checking you because we, because punk, we was the first ones on our motherfucking tiptoes swinging at niggas about your bitch ass. Jay Blue said it ain't that deep. No, it's shit. Well, oh, for us, for the girls, it is. If you're not one of the girls that ain't going through the girl things, hush. If you a gay boy uh, or, or, or mask presenting and you don't understand what goes on, if you're not watching with your eyes the attack on the girls 
and you're not a part of the windmilling to fight to help the girls and they fight, hush. Because we fight this shit by our motherfucking self. We fighting this shit by our motherfucking self. And with the and with and, and with the aid of some of the black cisgender women who understand who, who can see with their eyes and can see. That we under a fucking tack. And if and if a black woman, a black cisgender woman, and a and black heterosexual cisgender men can see that we under attack and your faggot ass can't, there's a motherfucking problem. That's the problem that we talking about. That's the problem that we motherfucking talking about with the gay men. If Mo heterosexual ass can see that it's a motherfucking problem. If Legra heterosexual cisgender ass can see that it's a motherfucking problem and it's on the line of screaming and your homosexual ass over there aiding with the problem, bitch, this the shit that we talking about. That's what we talking about. That's what we saying. Read the motherfucking room. Hey, come on, people. Let's like, let's like this video. Let's get these likes up. Come on, y'all. Let's get these likes up. Come and on. I still love that hoe. I still do. That's what we talking about. Read the motherfucking room. I'm not talking about my gay, my gay boys, my black gay boys, or whatever that be that because it because it is. Bitch, please believe that I am most definitely. Pre bitch, it was it was it was it was going to be a shake now one night, honey, somewhere. When I tell you all my motherfucking black black gay butch queen kids was wrapped around like bitch, what's the bitch not not in here? It ain't. So all the black gay men ain't like the. It's the ones that be that be over there with the bullshit that I'm talking about. That be sitting up with the bullshit, you know, further. Pushing the bullshit, you know, adding to the motherfucking problem, and acting like they don't see what's going through. The, well, that's the y'all don't want to. Y'all ain't supposed to be women anyway. The fuck, you ain't supposed to be no punk. The hell you talking about, bitch? You ain't supposed to be getting fucked in your ass either. Don't come in here with that damn internalized homophobia with me, and you a punk too, and you a black punk. Nah, we're not doing that. I'm going to tear your ass up. No. I'm going to fuck you up. So my thing, again, so that it's not taken out of context with little Nas, with little Nas X is understand why the girl's lighting you up. You know what I'm saying? I understand that you're a troll, but also understand, and he apologized. So I'm all right. But y'all asked me my opinion of it, and that's what he got. That's what I gave. That's what I gave. That's my opinion. If Mo, cisgender, heterosexual ass, knows it's a problem, and he's a black man, and Legra, my mama, all the other women women around me in my life can see that there's a, an issue with black trans women and the fucking America and the world. How are you gay and you can't understand it? And you a black gay man? The fuck? So yes, the girl's gonna come down on your ass hard, especially when you hold public office. When you hold public figure office. The girl's gonna be on your ass about that. Like, hey, read, hey, that's why that, that's what I like. Read the room, girl. Read the room, girl. Read the room. And if I was in your face, and Mo, you know what I give in a bitch face. <laughs> 
I don't, I'm the same way in your face and outside because I'm TTG on everything. Somebody better record, somebody better tell you, bitch, I'm TTG on every, everything I'm TTG trained to go. It say get up and go, I'm already outside. Better ask this one. TTG. Um, you asked me how was his post offensive? Yeah. I like I told you, baby, I'm on I'm on I'm I'm on a conundrum with it i understand why the girls orphan because i'm a black trans woman he is a black gay man so i understand i can understand the offense in it i was not necessarily offended by because you know i know he trolls but i understand it you you feel what i'm saying just like i'm not offended by the word tranny but I understand the context or the offense in the word training. I didn't at one point, but I do now. So I understand it. You feel me? You have to be able to understand. You can't just close it and be like, well, I don't see nothing wrong with it. You got to understand it, especially in the climate. You cannot be oblivious to the, to the social climate, what's going on. You can't do that. You can't be oblivious. You can't close your eyes and say, well, I don't see what it is. You know, I don't see. So I necessarily, personally, I personally was not offended by it, but I can understand the offense in it. Personally, I can understand the offense in it. Or oh, you say, what kind of shoes? Are, those are my Versace shoes. Those are Versace. They look like Converse, but they Versace. Um, uh, the Versace high top. Yes, child, I bought me some. I was going through the I was I yeah mo. <laughs> I paid $759 for them shoes, honey. <laughs> and I'm gonna wear them bitches when it's cold. When it's I, wear, I wear them to the airport. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna get me a new pair, maybe for this trip, going to the <laughs> but you know. Oh no, they're not comfy, Marlon. Trust me, oh, they're, they're not. not. That's what I was saying about that designer shoe shit. Them shit's not comfortable. Oh, damn. Them shits really terrorized my toe on the end, my end toe. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. But that's what I'm saying. So, you know, I don't, I per, I don't personally, I wasn't, pers I personally was not offended, but I understand. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, you know, you got to, you have to, Read the room, Mo. You know what I'm saying? You got to. Yeah. So just like the word, that's again, and I'm going to go. Just like the word tranny. Like that never, I'm never offended by that. Ever. Bitch, I use it. I'm never offended by that. But I understand the context and the, and the way of people saying they are offended by I get it. And so you, I have to be. You say not too much on them flip flops. Oh, them flip flops I got was what, bro? Six hundred. Yeah, those flip flops ain't cheap neither. Right. <laughs> the, the flip flops I got was six hundred. The other flip flops I got was six hundred. Yeah, those blue ones. Them blue ones was six fifty. Them them shoes I got them on sale. They was seven fifty nine. <laughs> um, you know, it's just. I'm going to have me some other food designer shit, you know? Especially for I'm not house. really... Especially the I'm really house. not... It's, I'm really... I don't really brag on that because it's... Bitch, because I'm going to go down there and get me a pair of Nikes. <laughs> $85 Nikes, $100 <laughs> Nikes that I got or some Reeboks. It's their shoes, you know? I don't think I know anybody that has more flip-flops than you. True. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I'm your friend. <laughs> I'm not gonna use the big one. You want, <laughs> so I'm gonna ask you: Do you want the? Do you want the name or the ingredients? I'll take the name. I'm trying, the do ingredients you, you, too many words. Yeah, right. But you may get them <laughs> simultaneously. You keep you keep attacking me. You I'm may simultaneously attacking. get them. 
That's all I'm, I'm saying. Not attacking you, you may simultaneously out. How am I attacking you? You may simultaneously <laughs> get them. Get it. But how about And I chose the small bottle because I got love in my heart for you. <laughs> oh, that's love? Oh, yeah. The, that's small, love. the small bottle. <laughs> How about I attack you when it's true, though? Yeah. <laughs> so wait, am I lying though? Don't it's you have a lot? Good. Don't you have a lot of? Don't it's you have? It's all good, cool, Maddie. It's all good, Maddie. That's not attacking you, it's Maddie. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Alone in the room. I wasn't attacking you, Maddie. Alone in the room. <laughs> it's just me and you. Oh my goodness. You know. Come on, man. That was not an attack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, we done did, we done went over the time that we were supposed to go over or whatever. Listen, we've had a good day today. We're not gonna be, I'm not gonna be here Friday because I told y'all about my my name change stuff and whatever. Um, I'm going to the doctor because I have to go to the doctor to get uh my doctor to uh sign off some stuff about my hormones and all that other kind of shit, whatever. I'm going in there and talk to, and I got a new doctor now. So this is, I'm going, this is going to be really, because the last doctor I had, his name was, I told y'all about him. He was so fine. My fine white dog. <laughs> he was so motherfucking fine. Tatted, he was tatted up and shit. I say, oh, I came in there. He was like, hey, Miss Hinton. I was like, mm. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's what you were doing? Mm. Medical records. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Well, let me get you these. Um, let me get you these. Uh, he upped my dosage on my um on my on my on my estrogen, and you know stuff like that. And he gave me. He told me to take two. He just upped my stuff, like you know, for. And I told him I ain't really want to take those uh the the testosterone stoppers no more because honey. I, I ain't want my nuts to be shrinking. He fell out. <laughs> he said, I could, pers- I could subscribe you some Viagra. I said, I don't need no Viagra. I just don't want my nuts to be shrinking. <laughs> you know, I just, you know, so this is going to be a new one. This is about to be a new doctor. So I'm really like kind of. Was there a next per- uh, No, don't worry about that. I was just going to say why the, why y'all had, why you had to change your doctor. But well, I had to change my doctor because he, I don't know where he went, where Dr. Gear went. Oh. He left. That He left. Um, that office that I go to, and I wanted to go where he went, and they told me he no longer is under um, he's no longer under the the plan. Gotcha. So I wanted to go where he was because he was so nice and sweet, you know. I I pulled my titties out and be like, well, <laughs> showing him where I've grown hair on my titties and stuff, <laughs> and he's like, oh, let me get you some, uh, let me get some what you know, you know, it, you know, it's just that. Like now I got a new doctor, he black, and so. It just really makes me feel like, oh God. But I'm gonna go in with positivity. Yeah, you never know. You never know. I'm gonna go in there with positivity. I'm going in there be real po- Oh dear God. What happened? Oh Lord. Hello. Hey. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, Miss Sophia. <laughs> Hey girl. <laughs> hey girl. Yeah, you all right? yeah, I'm all right. How you doing, Sophia? Girl, girl. What's the tea? I miss you. I miss you too, girl. Girl, you know, I be calling over to try to see what this nigga banana pudding is, girl. So you mean to tell me you all this time you ain't called Miss Mary about her banana pudding? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if they had a rat in a suit, it had nothing to do with Miss Mary. <laughs> well, why would you have to make your own put Miss Mary be making you good? But to see, I'm gonna let I hope she watching this show. <laughs> I hope she watches so she can hear exactly what you said. <laughs> Man, you know, just be careful, honey. <laughs> 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 but girl, girl, 
Girl, the people in the comments talking about some uh oh, Miss Sophia. Now you know damn well Miss Mary ain't put no rent in no they put, never made no rent in no nothing. No, I'm just saying you know how stuff have power. Yes. Yes, my what's going on? See, uh -huh. let me leave that for myself. <laughs> how you doing, Miss Sophia? I'm all right. I just thought it was what my house was. Y'all thought he came around to shit. I'm like, girl, what's going on? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, so, Miss Sophia, you ready? Did you hear the Craig call you with the news? Yeah, Craig called my baby. But let me ask you this here. Uh huh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Here go. Here go. What you want to ask me, Miss Sophia, the last nine minutes of the show? Ah, uh, they can hear you. They they actually writing about you in the comments right now. <laughs> <laughs> they just they, they just said, let me ask you something. What you need to ask, Miss Sophia, girl? Girl, let me ask you this. You think that picture with Ooh, with her eyes open like that real wide. Yes, girl. Girl, I wanted to say Alexa play. I saw the sign. <laughs> girl, I, they say that she has to be up to work and that, that she got that. Girl, you don't have to show them on this Jerry show. <laughs> she <laughs> oh, they say she showed up to work and they told it was Sherry's show. Miss like, Sophia, they had said, uh, uh, do you still know the up, up and away song? I'm reading what they saying down here. They said what? Do you still know the up, up and away song? <laughs> no, I don't know that song. But let me ask you this here. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Do you think that girl got her book for thirty thousand dollars? Oh my god! Oh lord! Oh, oh my god. god! I haven't watched it yet. I I I I don't believe none of it. But what's going on, Miss Sophia? Girl, she said that she got her thirty thousand dollars there. Well, what do you believe? Girl, she had made a thirty thousand dollars her whole career. <laughs> 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 girl, girl, oh my God! Hold on, what the people saying? The people saying so much stuff down here in this comment section, Miss Sophia, honey. Uh, let me see. Hold on, girl. They talking about they keep talking about up, up and away. She don't say that no more. Like, girl, let me ask you this. Yeah, girl. Okay, come on. Girl, live girl. girl, I just read her. Oh, you did? I did. Oh, okay, girl. How you feel about it? You know, you a butch queen too, so I be <laughs> I be need to get this stuff from a butch queen's perspective. Oh, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> how dare you disrespect me on no joke? <laughs> Wait, you a misgender woman? What? I don't understand. I never heard of misgender woman. What is this? Oh, I... <laughs> that bitch said she a cisgender woman and called me a pawn. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Up, up, and away, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, they said you a misgender woman, miss. <laughs> you a M I S S gender woman, misgender. No, oh, <laughs> girl, girl, this woman ain't girl. She talking about so that's somebody that been jealous of her since high school. She used to her, girl. <laughs> Girl, let me ask you this Uh-huh. Girl, where is the trip? Where y'all going this year? We going to Barcelona. Oh, y'all going to Spain? Yeah, we going to Barcelona, Spain. We going to Paris. So. Girl, let me ask you this 
Huh? <laughs> you was a motherfucking liar. I do speak Spanish and French. Oh, French fries. <laughs> <laughs> I speak Spanish and French. <laughs> and I was like, ayuda me, ayuda me, ayuda me. <laughs> Oh, you got your both birds. What is the other two? Miss <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, how you been? You got that check I sent you in the mail? Girl, that's why I you ain't got that check. I sent you a check last week. Girl, I don't lie. Wait, wait, wait. Well, what about, well, what about, is you ready for this? Because, you know, Craig called you and he had told you about the show. Yes, but I had to talk to Craig that I have received my cash for my bed. I don't worry about that. Oh, so you want to be paid up front? No, I want to be paid for my back. <laughs> how much is the back? That's what I want to know. How much? The, how much I'm supposed to owe you? <laughs> See, <laughs> when you ask a nigga how much you supposed to owe them, and they say, "Huh, you don't owe they ass nothing." <laughs> I said, "Huh," because I can't believe that Brian keeping up with them books like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Girl, she doing real good. She doing good. Listen, they saying what show? All right. So I didn't get the opportunity. We're gonna take Saturday. We'll probably talk about it a little bit more, but when we get the uh when we get the um the logistics of it. Um, but the dream girls are supposed to be making a grand appearance. When is that supposed to be girl? Girl, you told Craig you was available. <laughs> Let me tell you this. Now you do know that you trans woman. Uh-huh. I I'm a cisgender woman. <laughs> but I need a drag queen. <laughs> 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 they said Craig and he but I need like a better discipline. <laughs> 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 well, 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 you said the bill going to fake April first, but that's in. Yeah. But we ain't working in Miss. We not working in Mississippi. We not working in Mississippi. We not working in Mississippi or or or, or Tennessee. Girl, let me just say this again. Uh-huh. Georgia, Georgia and South Carolina and Texas, they fighting on their middle. No. <laughs> Now, if we're gonna do that show, they can pray and we can do it. That I don't pay. If you need to talk to uh, fucking Daniva, she needs to start having some surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Daniva not is it? But Daniva's a, she's a misgender woman too. You don't have to start transitioning for the show. <laughs> <laughs> Daniva's a misgender woman too. She gonna be. Uh, <laughs> but Sophia, that means you can't. That means you got to paint soft like a woman. You know, you can't really paint hard like you normally do. Oh, did this bitch just come for me? <laughs> Yeah, she did. This bitch just said, this bitch must be looking at me. She, I think so. That bitch just said, oh, I'm stitching all I wear is eyelashes, long eyelashes and baby hair. <laughs> <laughs> this, this bitch somewhere looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> up, up and away. Yay. Oh, my God. Sophia, please give us a look. It's the, it's the, uh, it's the Pisces birthday. They want you to say happy birthday to the Pisces before we leave. Oh, girl. Yeah. Now, I would say it, honey, but you know, but y'all had chopping. You chopped me for that, girl. <laughs> you better stop all that pretty ass thing. 
Uh, <laughs> Miss Sophia said, if y'all need her to say, please cash up, Joe Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Joe ja Joe Jackson honey at yahoo.org. Oh no, that <laughs> So lazy So So ladies and gentlemen, um just in case you didn't know, um we have been talking about reuniting the Dream Girls for the Queen's Supreme Court reunion on um uh Thursday, May 25th, here in Atlanta at the City Winery. Again, allegedly, <laughs> <laughs> once we get all this stuff together, Thursday, May 25th, at the City Winery, the Dream Girls with a Z is coming back together for the reunion, the reunion tour. Thursday, May 25th, here in Atlanta at the City Winery. Yeah. Life's not as bad as it may seem if you open your ass to trade in front of you. We definitely coming out to Dream Girls when we do come out. We, <laughs> and I know I'm gonna come out as Dina Jones, and you know you could be Effie. <laughs> oh. Go, girl. We don't been on here three hours. I was going. I, I like to leave the show at least two hours and thirty minutes because I because I be gone for a day and stuff. But oh, they in the coming saying I'm telling Doniva. I'm telling Doniva, girl. Yes, I'm telling Doniva, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. So y'all get ready. Put that as a reminder somewhere. Allegedly, we will be making the announcement as soon as we've locked everything in. Sophia told told Craig that she's available. Daniba told Craig that she's available, you know, and I, we, the Dream Girls will be reunited again at the City Winery Thursday, May 25th. I don't know if we're going to do two shows or one. We might do one show. We might do a half a show. Oh, why is that? <laughs> Girl, you is really a <laughs> This is why we got to do one show because I ain't gonna be able to stop them from reading each other. <laughs> this is why I'm not gonna be able to stop them from going. I'm not gonna be able to stop them. It's gonna be that. I'm not gonna be able to stop them. I'm just not. <laughs> What what is it? Happy birthday to <laughs> the party. <laughs> Happy birthday to 
Sophia, yeah. they said that note was all over the place. <laughs> Sophia, they said that note was all over the place. And they said, why are you singing happy birthday like it's a funeral? <laughs> they said that old Baptist <laughs> No, Miss Sophia, they actually they want you to say up up in the way because they've they have been terrorizing me ever since you just said it. Up up and away, up up and away, up up and away. They've been terrorizing me, but I'm like, girl, nobody called her to say no up up and away. You said she don't remember. <laughs> no, that's the one you saw when when Britney Griner had got released and she got on the plane. Nothing. You didn't say shit. <laughs> You you call my granddaddy something. Uh, I, I told you to call the singer to Miss Mary. You say that name. <laughs> oh, cause what's, what was your grandpa's name? Joe. Oh. Cause my granddaddy and her name, my granddaddy and her got the same name. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> All right, Joe. I love you too, I love sister. You. I love you. Mo say he Mo, there, there go Mo over there. Yes, Sophia. You know, I still got the chicken. Can't tell that time. I got the everything funny. They say about me, Sophia. <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> I love you, Sophia, and I'll call you in a little while, child, honey, so we can get this shit solidified. Bye, y'all. Bye, Bye. Bye. All right, y'all. That's Miss Sophia called in on the impromptu call, honey. You know, she'll call in here and try to terrorize me real fast. I had to hang up on that bitch. You know, took my time over. Curtis. <laughs> that bitch said, I said I was gonna be Dina Joe and she was gonna be everybody. <laughs> Dani was gonna be Curtis. <laughs> Boy, Dani was gonna tell her ass. I up. swear to it's God. It's gonna be a whole it's and hey, we need to just I can't do two shows in that night. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do that whole I'm just gonna have to do the show because they it's not gonna be it's gonna, I ain't gonna be able to get through. I'm just gonna be sitting there like girl. <laughs> It's gonna be too much dragging, too much dragging, especially when them two get together. Dragging too much. Uh, I still remember when we were trying to film the uh, the show, the show. <laughs> and then I'm like, girl, come on now. Her and Daniva was just dragging, it was just like ongoing, like, oh my god, <laughs> they were just reading for damn hour. For we over here trying to film the show, and we like, girl, come on here, girl. They just read it. So soon as Sophia came downstairs, she said, Dad, that bitch go. <laughs> and then she was like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I'm not going to take nothing from no bitch that do they make up with a broom with a mop. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm sitting over here looking. They just going and going. Home. And we sit up here like trying to get the damn shit together. And they just going and going and going and going. <laughs> I was dying laughing. And I'm like, girl. Oh, my God. Is this who we are? Is this what we represent? <laughs> <laughs> as soon as they leave. Oh, my God. Is this who we are? Is this what we represent? Have they always been like that? Girl, Mo. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh. 
Ooh. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all. I had a good day with y'all. I talked with y'all motherfucking ass on Saturday, Ooh. honey. I see y'all on Instagram and Facebook and stuff, honey. I see y'all later. Bagger! <laughs> hey, everybody. This is T.S. Madison. And if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. Shh, quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one-on-one, -on -one, exclusive content behind the scenes you can even chat with me in there me and you it's just me and you so get to www.patreon.com forward slash ts madison hinton and you'll be glad you did i promise this has been a ts madison and rde multimedia group presentation Hey guys, if you just enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash TS Madison Hinton. Or if you're already here, click that bell up there, up there, one of them, and subscribe so that you don't miss this or any other excellent content that I have for you. Don't meet me here, beat me here. Ciao. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything. Every there it is, right there. You ain't gonna right have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye.